The sun is about to set on our first day of the Tim Hortons Briar, the Canadian Men's Curling Championship here in Calgary. And the handshakes, your Canadian Men's Curling Champions, Alberta. Last year, Kevin Cooey led his team to another Briar title. But in an off-season of change, Cooey was the first to find a new crew. Now, former rivals are teammates, champions, uniting with champions. The top teams from across the country have gathered in Calgary. The Tim Hortons Briar begins now. It was picture day yesterday here at the Briar, and not 12 teams, but 14 teams, all lining up, all smiling for their picture as part of the Tim Hortons Briar here in Calgary. As on this Saturday night, we say hello, Canada. Welcome back to our opening day coverage. Why 14 teams? Well, there's been a change in the uh, Briar format from a year ago. And for the very first time, there is a Team Canada. As well, Northwest Territories Yukon have been given separate entries, which necessitated a three-game pre-qualifying event. Nova Scotia, PEI, based on their previous Briar records, and the Yukon. It came down after Nova Scotia had been eliminated first to a game between Yukon and PEI for the 12th spot in the field. Bob Smallwood and his team from Whitehorse in the first as they play Adam Casey from Charlottetown and Summerside and what a lovely way to start things the rub and roll in the score one for the team from UConn but it went to an extra end and needing the perfect freeze with his last as he battled his way back he stole one in 10 to force the extra against Casey how tough is it to make these Perfect freezes, very tough. And then, of course, this one would over curl, giving the win to Adam Casey and to give PEI the 12th and final spot in the field. So they're a winner. Northern Ontario, Brad Jacobs, gold medal winner Sochi. He's a winner over a former champion in John Michel Menard. Newfoundland Labrador, gold medal winner too. Brad Gouju, he wins over Saskatchewan. And for the first time ever, Team Canada. John Morris wins his first against Manitoba. Another change, of course, is that for the very first time, you get a choice of games. We have two games to show you this evening as well. And what you'll see on TSN 3 and 5, Brian Mudrick, David Nedowin will have Manitoba against Saskatchewan, while we will have British Columbia, Alberta, when we join you with Russ and Cheryl. So, two games. It is a Tim's double-double from the Briar. So much curling history and pride when you talk about Saskatchewan and Manitoba. It's an all-prairie battle tonight at the Tim Hortons Briar as both these teams look for win number one. Welcome back inside the saddle room. Brian Mutrick joined by four-time Briar champion Dave Nedowin. Reed Carruthers is back at the Briar. He won a world championship and a Briar title back in 2011 with Jeff Stoughton. Now he's the skip. How does he rebound from a tough loss earlier today? Well, one of the things we talked about off the opening of draw one was that Reed was going to have to come out strong, and they could be a contender this week, and they did. They played very well for five ends. He needs to keep that play right through ten ends and really watch the weight control. I think that's something they got caught on with some straight spots as they increased the weight. Meantime, Steve Laycock won back-to-back -back Saskatchewan titles. He is back at the Briar. Six and five record last year. He was knocking on the door of the playoffs. Saskatchewan hasn't won a Briar title since way back in 1980. Steve has always been close to the playoffs. What does he need for a successful week? 
Well, I think, first of all, he needs to shell draw number one. He came up and played really well and had an opportunity to knock off one of the big contenders. What Steve needs to do is make the key shots. He played very well, but you still got to make those 15% that will put you over the top. The Game Plan, brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. Laycock is a former world junior champion. He's got the credentials. We've got the setup. We've got the first draw coming up next. This is the reason why you uh, love playing events like the Briar, like getting the big crowd and get the, the blood flowing, the, just the excitement level when the big shots are made. This is definitely the environment we like to play in and really looking forward to a week of that. This is where you want to be. When we first formed this team, this is where we wanted to get to and getting to play in front of the big cameras and the big lights, it's you know what we dream of. Best feeling to represent your province. 2015 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. The 2015 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. By M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best, and by Scotty's Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Welcome back to Calgary, Alberta. Tim Hortons Briar. So we've set up and recapped draw one, draw two going tonight. Manitoba, Saskatchewan. You can watch on TSN 3 and 5, BC, Alberta. That you can watch live on TSN 1 and 4. Curling right across our five feeds tonight. On Sheet C, it's PEI taking on Team Ontario and around of the action. It is the territories taking on New Brunswick. Of course, we'll keep you updated throughout the entire show. Time to meet the teams. Brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Hi, I'm Reed Crothers, skip of Team Manitoba. At lead, we have Colin Hodgson. Second, Derek Samogolski. Third, Braden Muscoey. And we curl out of the West St. Paul and Winnipeg. Hi, I'm Steve Laycock, skip of Team Saskatchewan. Our lead is Dylan Myers, our second is Colton Flash, third is Kirk Myers, and we curl out of the Nutanix Curling Club in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So it's a battle of the prairies. It is Manitoba taking on Saskatchewan tonight. There's a look at Reed Carruthers, tight. Team Manitoba. They'll throw the Red Stones tonight. Team Saskatchewan. Uh, the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon, right. the Yellowstones. All right, here we go. And Half the draw forward. to the button, won by Team Saskatchewan. So that means the Ford Hot Shots winner from this year's Tim Hortons Briar. That is Colin Hodgson. He will kick things there. off tonight. Wait a minute. Stones for Team Manitoba. Sure. Okay. Colin had a tremendous game earlier today, and he needs to keep doing that to make sure that they put some pressure Line's on Saskatchewan good. early. Take a three. Yep, 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 Put the line. Go, 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 go. Good. Dave, you played in many briars, and obviously a lot of them very successful briars. It's a long week. There's a ton of games. Both of these teams were on the ice earlier today, draw one, both of them coming off losses. When you guys played in that great fab for before, what was your strategy, game plan, whether it was win or loss? What did you guys do to rebound, get ready for that next game? Well, I think for both of these teams, they came off games that they thought they probably had a great chance to win, if not should have won. So, you know, you're looking at a field that's extremely deep, and the last thing you want to do is have day one with two losses. So our strategy was always make sure if you lose a game, it's never more than one in a row. And I think both these guys, both these skips and teams are looking at how they need to rebound and improve on the small mistakes they made earlier today to, you know, try and have a little better performance tonight. Hey, go, go, go. Yeah, I thought we were waiting 10 minutes before we played. Was it that much harder? Throw, yes, yeah, it is sticky throw, here. It's 14-3 to get top 12. Okay, that's it's okay. Solid bump for bump. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Solid bump. Good throw, Hodge. He's colorblind anyways. Yep. Yep, hard. Whoa. Close. Just whoa. Whoa. Clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Clean. Yep. Yep, hard. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Kill it, kill it, kill it. 
a little different strategy for Reed than the first end of earlier, uh, the game earlier today, where he was content to put it in the rings and allow the first end to be blanked. This time he threw the guard up with Colin trying to press it early. A lot of teams, too, Dave, have that philosophy. You come out, it's the first day, maybe you blank it in, you get into your comfort zone, and then you get going in the second end or maybe even third end. Were you a team that likes to attack and get it going early, or did you like this philosophy? No, we, we typically did. I mean, we realized that the ice in the first end is going to be as good as it is it gets. Uh, the ice makers are terrific here. They prepare it so that during your practice ice, that's actually when you're breaking it in. So by the time the first end starts, you are in mid-game condition. So there's really no reason to worry about it being first end. So from your earlier, how much have your five feet? Five, six feet. Okay. Got light? Yeah, I do too. Clean! Floor! Go ahead! That's light. Derek Samagalski throwing That's second stones for Team Manitoba. Hard, hard boys, hard weight. Out of the West St. Paul Curling Get Club. Get in here! Get in here, boys! First time that Wait, whoa, curling whoa. club has been represented at the Briar for Manitoba on the men's side. Yeah. Just so heavy, man. I always use that tap, right? That's true. Yeah. So I think we need yeah, about 85. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Feels pretty good. Roof, go. go there. You have Roof. to be there. No, has to be there. Well out there. Weight's good. Way out there. Just top curling. 12. Top 12. Light the four. Go, Kurt. Curl him now. Light you're the four, going guys. hard. Come on, Kurt. You're Light going hard. Come on. Go sideways for you. Come on. Go. <laughs> Big scrub, and that one just misses touching the four, but wow. fully buried. 90, eh? Positive. That's quite a bit more. It's still not heavy though, is it? I think it's there on its own. Where is it? So according to their split time, they are saying it's actually a little bit heavier than earlier today. Kind of going against what I just said. Where? Seven. But we haven't seen the end sheet either yet. So this sheet could be affected a little bit differently. Should be heavy, should be heavy. For those Dave not familiar at home, what are split times? Well, it, different teams uh, measure split time differently. Uh, lots of times it's from kick to tee line. Uh, sometimes it's from uh, back line to hog line. It just gives you an indication of how hard you've pushed out of the hack, um, you know, so that you know what draw weight is. That or this? Whatever you like. If you can make this, it's better. Yeah. yeah I can only make that with, like, tee line weight. That's Breathe. still better. Okay. Okay. T line. Yeah. Let's go. Give us a couple 90. more feet. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Back 12. Close. Back 12. Back 8. Yeah. Whoa. Back 8. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Whoa. Back 8. Whoa. 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 Back 8. Whoa. 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 Back 12. Whoa. Back 12. Yeah. Yeah. Colton Flash, you know it's close, back and forth in the sweep, they'll bump it. Nice shot. And it's pretty good. In the open, Saskatchewan does lie one, maybe two. And both those yellow stones above T line and behind cover. It's dead nuts, but you could maybe just do this. You don't want a double jam, though. Yeah. That's, that's ideal, but then you're getting close to just doing this. Something into here. I know, but then it's not this, too. You right? almost got to try and just make this. Let that jam and just get this yes. over the top. Yeah. That or go here, but... Fuck. I, I know. I don't know, man. I think just hammer it. I think you hammer it. Okay. Two-thirds? What's that? Ha half? Yeah. I think it's about a half. Try and get two of them, yeah. Okay. Toss your bud. Reed had suggested potentially the draw into there, but they don't want to let this end get away from them. Uh, you know, they're going to run this guard back and try and open it up, get rid of some of the yellow rocks. Yep. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep, yep, whoa. Great Miscawi, run back, bump the yellows. Good. Good job, B. It's good. And Saskatchewan still lies one, top four. 
behind cover. Freeze or just hit the back one? What do you guys like, this? Okay, 90. Yeah, let's go. Our first look at Kirk Myers. Of course, he's the brother of Dallin, who throws these stones. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Just line. Yeah. Wait, good. Gotta go. Gotta hey, go, we're Wade. Wait, we're by. Wait, it's good. Room. Don't want to push it and leave it in off. No, you're, you're not pushing it. Yeah, you are a little yeah, bit. A little oh, bit. geez, it's pretty darn close. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lines it up again. To me. Oh, we gotta go to the other side. Sergeant's gonna be mad at us. Wow. Yeah. Yes. More damage control here, Dave. Yeah, it's a pretty good situation for Saskatchewan oh, sitting too buried uh, with the hammer. Good. That's good. Maybe. Yeah. Or we could nose that. Too, yeah, I don't know. I might this double for fun, Protect maybe triple. Two for now. Well, we just need two. Two. Yeah. Where you Is that, that jam? One. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Could go here, too. Guard, guys. I don't know why I like the guard. I thought it was hit and roll. Yeah, he figures it jams now, though. Okay, we'll play a tap then. Okay. Think that's too tight or not tight? What are you thinking? Well, he says it jams. Okay. So my, what did I throw here? Uh, zero. I, I think your zeros is yeah. going to be really good. Let's go. One of the challenges, not only tonight, Dave, but for the entire tournament of the Tim Hortons Briar. Anytime Alberta's on the ice or Team Canada's on the ice and you get a big crowd in here and that oh, roar, line might be tight. that communication's got to be okay so crucial when you're the sheet over or it's playing a different game and Roll you have there. to respond to that crowd noise. Tight guard, yeah, right. you do. You're right. Uh, and, guard, and I mean, that's I that's part of the excitement of playing in a big arena like this. Is, you know, you get 10 or 12,000 people into a building. And it does get noisy, but I mean, that's what they're here for. They're here to play in front of the big crowds. Quite good. It's just a gas out here. It's not a gas. It's just heavy. It's I, just I, heavy. I, I yeah. can feel it pretty good. Yeah. I figured I was there. Yeah. I thought you were a lot tighter. But like this one, I threw like the hack. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I can run just try to, try to get both. You should be able to. Yeah. And if we do this, it's great. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Oh. So sliver high. Two, yeah. Three quarters, four feet. We're right in the middle of the rock. Okay. So Reed's decided to run the red one back, and that way if it sticks, at least he gets a more positive result yep. than running the yellow guard back. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Reed Carruthers, yeah. his first here in one. Hard, hard, hard. Big brush the whole way, run it back. Okay. And he picks hey, the one yellow stone out. Good shot, Reed. Good shot. Nice We're shot, trying Reed. to get bold. That's okay, it's yeah, a good shot, Reed. Great shot, buddy. Great shot, buddy. Great shot. Oh, I thought I had it. Great shot. Yeah. I'd be okay with that, yep. We're shot. Let's do the freezes, so. Yeah. No pass is probably best. Yep. They'll, they'll hit us and then give us two, right? If they don't, if they play something else, risk giving us three. Board? Yeah. Make sure we have a good board, I think. Let's go, bud. So they're content with their two points, just hit and roll the outside a little bit. They could draw in and try and go for three. You guys like this or draw top I four? like this. What are you kind of weight you playing? Board. Are you going to go under or just to the wide oh, side of it? Be yeah, be firmer board because it is heavier over here. Yeah. Like how heavy? Uh, like throw, I was so nice. Like the, give you normal control? Yep, yeah, yeah. Just soft control. Firm board will be board. Steve Laycock in his fifth trip to the Briar. He beat Jason Jacobson in the final in Melville, yep. Saskatchewan. Good. First skip 
in Saskatchewan to defend his provincial title since Pat Simmons hey. won four in a row. Hey. Oh, Pat now, of course, playing hey. for Team Canada. Little bump, and they like two. You know, the danger with that hit is that by nosing right there, it, it gives Reed an opportunity to hit and roll behind the guards now. This didn't do a whole lot, but well, I did. he's really jabbed it though, eh? Okay. I like it. Yeah, bump is good there, I think. Yeah. So you said my name. Good bump. Okay, bro. Good bump there. In theory, is Steve better bump. off almost hitting and rolling out with that last one? Yeah, they were trying to roll to the outside, and, uh, you know, like they talked about, by rolling to the outside, Reed would have hit the open rock and given them two. But uh, definitely nosing was, was kind of the worst place you actually want to end up. So after playing a few bailout shots in this first end, Reed Brothers, final stone without hammer, a chance to yep. Yep, put yep. the pressure back here on Lake Hawk. Yeah! Hard! Hard call! Hard! Hodgson, scrubbing hard! hard. Samagowski oh, scrubbing hard. Oh, the boys get it by. Little roll. Will it stick around in time for Shot Stone? Got to stop on. quick. Come on. One or two more rotations. Let's have a look. And it is Shot Stone, but it is exposed on the other side. Great throw, Reed. Shoot. Sorry, buddy. Good sweet. Great throw, man. You know Manitoba comes to play though when the socks match the outfit. Is that a key Briar move, Dave? Is that, is that a veteran play there? Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. As long as they're not white. You wear the white socks when you curl, don't you? Barefoot, I found. Barefoot. Sure. I was just happy when someone wanted me to curl with them. Final stone here, other way. Steve Laycock. In this opening end here, Whoa. first day of our coverage on TSN Whoa. of the Tim Hortons Briar here in Calgary. Clean, clean. A soft tap here clean. to open up with a two. Clean. Got a boy, nice shot. And clean is usually a very good indication. Nice little tap. And Steve Laycock takes advantage of Hammer. And he's on the board here first for Team Saskatchewan, a 2 0 lead over Manitoba. Welcome back to our opening day coverage of the Tim Hortons Briar in Calgary. Brian Mudrick, Dave Nedewin with you. Time for an update. Team Ontario taking on PEI. And this is a very exciting first Briar for Mark Keane and his team from Fenland Falls playing with Matt Cam, David Mathers, and Scott Howard. Final stone on the way here in one. And this is a great opportunity. Has the open hit to score two. Well, we talked about it earlier, Brian, the minute you increase weight, how straight it's running. And that might be a little bit different than they saw in practice. So being that it's Ontario's first game out here, they're still learning that. So an opportunity wasted there as he'll lose the shooter. It is a single, so one nothing Ontario. Meantime, it is New Brunswick taking on Jamie Cooey. You see the two red stones touching the button. And this stone coming from Jeremy Malley out of the Thistle St. Andrews Curling Club in St. John. Got to come through that port. He's got one for sure. Trying to get in there for two. Big scrub from the front end, but they cannot get it by that red stone. You see it crashes, so it is a single for Jeremy Malley. And he's on the board with a one nothing advantage after one. Meantime, our feature matchup here. On a Saturday night, it's Saskatchewan taking on Team Manitoba. And a nice opening end for Steve Laycock and his team from the Utana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Picks up a pair. 2 0 Saskatchewan with action underway here in two. Reed Brothers now. For line, yep. For line. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it really was a good uh, first end for Saskatchewan. They came out and did exactly what they wanted. Put pressure on Manitoba early and uh, and had that end set up for what looked like was going to be more than two. Way out there. It's all you can. Wait if you can. Feels good. Wait's good. Let's do it. Oh, run the guard. Got away. It's a three. Got no, away. Not quite a three. Mine's good. Not quite. Finish it. Finish. Oh, he's separation here. I think we're pretty good. 
Right, nice shot. Meantime, it was BC with a one of the advantage over Alberta in the second end. Kevin Cooey with hammer in that one. Derek Samigalski oh, yeah. gets okay, some yellows moving. Jeez. Good throw. Yeah. Ah, not bad. Same shot. Good nice throw. I go the other Zero. way now. Zero. He doesn't shoot much in this. Try. I don't like this. Okay. Zero. Both the same way. Yeah. A little more curl. That's it. I like to go. Got to go. You can go. You can go. I got ten. Line's good. Line's good. Switch. The line's good. Got to switch. Line's good. Go. Got to curl. Line's good. No, no more curl. No, 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 no. Side by side, almost. Well, shoot. Okay, good throw. Sorry, flash. Almost run the yellow back, and if I'm wide, I double peel. I don't like that one. I like going over the top. I don't yeah, and if I'm a little, and if I'm a little tight, I nut it. Yeah, try that. Yeah. Or the double peel. Yeah, either or. Yeah. Hey, you don't firm. have to rip this one, D. What's that? Just a good firm. Firm. Okay. Don't have to rip this. Firm. Yeah, that's a smart call. Yeah, I mean, uh, after giving up the deuce in the first down, you want to make sure you're going to have a chance to score here. And, you know, what Reed was looking at is a great yep. idea if you oh. make it. If oh. you don't, you're in big trouble. Yep. Yep. Yeah! Samagowski run back, bang the yellow, get the red going, yellow going. And a lot of rocks moving as he cleans things up out front. Oh. Wow, it's calling the roll. Yeah. They gotta throw control at it. A little straighter out here, let's go. Yeah, straight at it. Control weight. Good. Yep. Yep. Really gotta go. All the way to it. Hey! All the way to it. Whoa. <laughs> yep. 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 Cool. Good reason. Good. Good. Nice roll. What do you know? He was right. <laughs> Wasn't even that close. No. To the guards. I mean, it's a great throw. I like this. I didn't keep this one because this might really curl. Okay. I think it's 13-5, uh, no, guys. I'm going to throw you the same as draw the button, eh? Okay. okay. So this is about six inches wider than I took to draw the button. Yeah. Okay. So try on the intern side here, Dave. Have we seen this part of the ice yet? No, we haven't. And they're saying it's about 13 and a half seconds hog Similarly. to hog. That's about a full second slower than we were Where? seeing earlier today. Seven, eight. Hold that. Whoa. Where? Eight. Yep. Close. Whoa. Yep. Seven. Yep. So seven, eight, eight they're calling yeah, the T-line or back four right now. Gotta go, gotta go, pop, pop. Right to it, to it, right to it. Line's real good, take it to it. Yep, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Good, nice sweep. Shot, man. lovely draw weight. Good spot. Oh. I'm switching it. No, that's... Well, no, I was just trying to plow. That would overcurl. Yeah. 90. 90 is the number. Let's go. What was that? 13-7. With some sweep. Boy, that was a sweep throw. T line. Line's good. good. That's heavy. That's heavy. Line's the hair tight. Clean. Clear. Bump. Don't wanna. They won't. Back eight. No, Hold it's down. close. Back Hold four. Up. Back four. Clean. Oh. Back four. Oh. We're good at it, guys. Want to. Stay close to the hair. We're good. Not much. Not much. Whoa, 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 To the nose, little bump. It is still <laughs> okay. Manitoba no, shot stone. A little heavy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, a little heavy. I think Reed can get to the inside. Even if he just freezes Shoot. to the inside, sets up a good position for him. The hair. Just a little less ice. Let me know when I can go, B. Pound it in. Should get there, hey? If they could ever move it back More. three or four inches and stay on the inside. That would be ideal. Same, same weight. A little less. Whoa. Oh, nice About the same. Whoa. 
No. Touch more. No line. No. It's two no. in. No. No. Never. No. Braden Miscawi. Never. Trying to get to the inside little bump. Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Just a little full, I think. Miscawi actually played for Saskatchewan back in 2012 when he Here. threw third stones for Brock Virtue. We can't really make nothing for the bundle here, so I think we come into there, hey? Unless you want to just play this. It'd be nice to move it. There's yeah. not a whole bunch that can go wrong there, I don't think. But let's throw that T-line weight and I'll sweep that. How okay. does that sound? Yep, because we come to here, we're good. Yep, you betcha. Let's go, bud. And this is Steve's strength. The soft tap axe, uh, freezes, just moving rocks around and push it, positioning them where he wants them to be. Meantime, update sheet C, Team Ontario taking on PEI. And a nice story for Adam Casey as he comes through and qualifies for the big tournament, winning his game earlier today against UConn to win the pre competition and qualify for the big dance. His final stone taking on Ontario, and he needs a big time draw as you see that yellow coming into play. Drawing against three, a little bit of backing, and a nice touch, so he gets a single. Third time at the one after two. It's nice. Yeah, good judge there. No. This way. No. Let's get a little over there, though. Off Clean. The good. Whoa. Back four. Whoa. Back four. Whoa. Back four. Whoa. Back four. Back four. That's good. T line. T line. T -line. Good. Good. T. Whoa. I'd like to curl. Got a T. That's good. T. Don't lose Whoa. it. Yep. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. Gotta go. Gotta go. Little bump. Good. And for now, it looks like angry? Saskatchewan lying two without Hammer here in the second. At least it's our Rockies running back. Yeah. He's going to curl the hair, eh? Yeah. Shoot. Good throw. Couldn't place the one. They say over curl the hair. Dave, where would they have liked that to stop in a perfect world? Well, in a perfect world, basically the same shot, only sitting right on the edge of that red one. They're, they're giving a lot of respect to Reed, obviously throwing this run back. And right now, if he makes it, he doubles both those yellows out and potentially sits too red. If it was touching the red one, uh, obviously the red one would go and, and uh, you wouldn't eliminate both the yellows. Brothers runs it back, catches the yellows, gets them spinning. And that certainly opens up the fourth foot. Yeah. We can make our score a lot easier. Yeah. If he messes up. Yeah. Interesting too when you look at both these skips. Steve Laycock. Of course now at the skip position, but he's been to the Briar before in the front end for a bit much ice, maybe. Pat Simmons and so. Reed Crothers, as we talked about off the and top, playing with the great Jeff Stoughton, who recently board. retired from curling, and they won that world title board. together, Briar title in 2011, yeah. and now both at the skip position. Yeah, and both were skips previously, yeah, too. I know exactly. Stevie Laycock was a, a skip in juniors, uh, very successful, yeah, and uh, gained a lot of experience coming to the Briar playing front end with uh, guys like Pat and like Jeff. So now that they're at the helm again, this isn't anything that's entirely new for them. This man right here, a former world yep. junior Easy. champion. Yep. Heavy board. Whoa. Heavy board. Clean. Clean. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Shot. Good boy. Good. Triple. I just pushed the other one an inch too far. It was a really good shot by Reed on his first one, though. He didn't have a, you know, a lot to shoot at to score. And right now he's got a pretty wide open shot for a single. I was thinking, yeah, in, like intern a back, like what kind of weight? Back intern. Line. I was gonna play hack, but I, I think with back line you can't miss it. Just ha if you yeah. hit, if you okay. hit it, you know what I'm saying. Just a back eight. I'm just worried it's gonna be fresh, but 
Yeah, it might be a little. No way, Dave, you can dream up a triple so there, can you? Try and uh, throw no. half there. There, there's no <laughs> angle there that's going to get all of those yellow ones out. Try and throw half. You need the magic good. rock. Just half. Does Curling Canada let you bring your own rocks? Can you bring a magic rock, Dave, in your time? I don't think they'd allow that. Oh, no, you'd be going way back to the Furby days to bring your own sure. rocks. <laughs> Hack, Hockey. Hack. That was good. Maybe that was back when he played with Hector, eh? Final stone here for Reed Carruthers. I don't think it's Hack. Back line, maybe. Well, Facing oh. three. Quiet. Soft back little line, tap. Needs line. the button for a single. Whoa. Clean. Clean. Back line. Oh. Let me clean. Whoa. Whoa. Just back clean. line. Clean. Yep. Hodgson, Semigowski. Yep. yep. Get the brushes down. Okay. Quiet scrub. Yep. And that is nice touch from Reed Carruthers as he comes Sorry. through against three and picks up his single. Back line. Steve Laycock, Team Saskatchewan. They have a 2 1 advantage. And Hammer after two. Thought it was two. You guys swept the first one. 44 curlers started the week with a chance to drive away in an all new 2015 Ford F 150, the annual Ford Hot Shots competition. That number, well, it was trimmed down to just two. And in the final, Colin Hodgson goes rock to rock against Saskatchewan's Stellan Myers. And the lead from Manitoba, making his first prior appearance, comes up big when he needed to. In the final round, already in front, Hudson would ice it, scoring a maximum five on the double takeout. Colin Hudson wins the Ford Hot Shots and a two-year lease on Canada's best-selling pickup, the Ford F-150. Welcome back, update time, BC and Alberta. And in a way, I guess you could call this a rematch of last year's Briar final. Kevin Cooey, of course, could have been Team Canada this time around. He left his team to form this squad. Mark Kennedy, Brent Lang, Benny Hebert, they curl out of the Glencoe here right in Calgary. Of course, Jim Cotter made the final with John Morris last year in BC. Final stone on the way, Hebert, Kennedy, great scrub. And with this crowd behind them, we're going to have great support all week long here in Calgary. A lovely draw, picking up the single. So it's BC and Alberta all tied up at one after two. Well, and Kevin Cooey is known as probably the best hitter in the game today. But when he's on, he can sure draw to. You want to watch that one? You can. It's live right now on TSN 1 and 4. Very exciting. Tim Hortons, Briar in Calgary this time around for TSN. All five feeds showing multiple choices this week at the Briar. We're glad you're watching our feature matchup here. Manitoba taking on Saskatchewan, a 2 1 advantage with action underway here in three. Whoa! Whoa! Nice shot from Reed Carruthers in that second end to pick up his single against a couple. Yeah, so far for two ends, according to exactly according to plan for Team Saskatchewan, though. Let's go, buddy. Four Axel. seconds, eh? Four seconds. Are you surprised at this play, or do you expect Steve Laycock to keep it as simple as possible? No, I, I'm not overly surprised buy that from Steve. I, I know he's going to be very patient. And he's going to wait until he's got the guards where he wants them to go around. Being a center line guard, it's, it's not exactly what he wants. He wants them on the sides. He's going to keep the middle That's open yep. and uh, really not have any risk. Guard, guys. Halfway. 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 Go a little. Useful just in case. Is it still slow or getting quicker? You threw that pretty light. Yeah. This spot's getting better. Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, okay. What's the story? Um, 14 in a bit. Okay. Just pop that first one in. Yeah. Yeah. Steve's very calculated in how he approaches yep. the game. I, I know he's a big please, poker player please, too, please. and he plays the odds. So he's more than fine with blanking this end, Sorry. taking the hammer into four, and scoring in the even ends. Like 15 for guard? Good ones. 
for those joining our coverage for the first time, that's one thing that you really talked about, Dave, in our opening broadcast is that scoreboard management. And is that just part of that? It is, yeah. I, I mean, statistically and, and uh, speaking of the odds, Steve knows exactly when he wants to go after the team. And uh, he's going to be patient. Um, he'll never get... Um, you know, convinced to go into a situation that he's not entirely comfortable with, and that's good and bad. Um, you know, if he continues to apply the pressure and the ends that he wants to and scores deuce with a hammer and force one, it's exactly according to his plan. Um, you know, the downside of that is that if you if you do waste ends and something doesn't go quite right, well, now you're down to the second half of the game where you've kept the other team in the game. Easy. Kirk Myers makes the peel. That's pretty good. Go. We're going in. Yep. Still pretty good. You sure? Yep. In. Looks there. Is there an ankle ready? Clean. Oh, yeah. Different light. I don't think so. It's not a bad thing for Manitoba either, though. They're getting a chance to throw a lot of draws, get really comfortable with the That's draw good. weight, which is going to help them later in the game for sure. Control. I'll just throw a little more rotation on those. Yeah. That's just two. Playing board? Yep. Good board. That one settles yep. top four and the hit game on. Clean. Yep. 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 Hack! Yep. Yep. Hack! Clean. Whoa! Yep. Hack! Yep! Close. Solid hack! Yeah, what a board, so that's good. Good call. Yeah. Good job, buddy. And that kind of shot, Dave, why that weight and not throwing maybe more of a peel type weight? Why that weight? Well, it's a lot easier to control the curl with the quiet Wait. weight. Um, and, and it makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you're throwing that peel weight and you're just a hair off, you're rolling out, which really doesn't matter a whole bunch in this situation because it's going to be a blank end or they're playing for the blank anyhow. But, you know, you, you may as well make sure that you make the hit and stick and force the other team to throw a hit as well as opposed to getting their draw weight down. Whoa. You see Colin Hodgson there on the right, keeping it clean. Colin, of course, won the Ford Hot Shots earlier more, today. Yeah. His first ever Briar appearance. I know a guy that you, no one, got to play with. I know you got to go back a little bit here, Dave, more. but tell me about Solar your board, first yeah. Briar and that experience and what that meant to you. Yeah, my first Briar was 2001 in Ottawa, and uh, I, I distinctly remember walking out for the practice ice, and it was really tough. You were throwing 13 seconds or 12 and a half seconds to T-line. Solid board. Uh, you know, it wasn't curling. And, and we were really frustrated. We didn't know what to do. And uh, it's interesting now because we talked to some of the players who have been going to the Briar over a number of years, and they've seen that transition. That was common 10, 15 years ago. Now they get into practice, and it's, uh, I mean, it's as good as it's going to be in the games. So when they go into those hot shots, you're seeing scores of 26, 27, 28 out of 30, and a lot of that is accredited to the uh, the ice makers doing a great job even before the event starts. Meantime, live look, Sheet D, Northwest Territories, taking on New Brunswick. Jamie Cooey, back to the big show out of the Yellowknife Curling Center. Take a look. He's got a nice clean draw it, here it. for two. Just needs to find paint. Shot, Jamie. Jamie had a great run a few years back. Actually made it to the bronze medal game. Ended up with a fourth place finish. He's always dangerous at this event. He's got a 2-1 advantage. Yeah, it was a, it was a Cooey versus Cooey 3-4 game. That's right. Always an exciting game when the brothers go head-to-head. -head. They really enjoy being at the Briar with each other. They always say that's a tough game when they have to play against each other, but they're obviously both competitors. Yeah, I've talked to both of them about that, and, and like you said, it's a real thrill to be in a briar with your brother, but uh, I can certainly imagine playing against him would be challenging. So a wide open end continues and will conclude here as Steve Laycock will try for the blank and retain hammer. Peel her out, Steve.
Final stone here in three. Yep. Easy. Yep. 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 And yep. Steve Laycox, fifth trip to the Tim Hortons Briar. A Come successful on. peel. And the blank. Good job, boys. That's a big one to waste. Eh? We're through three so, yeah. here in Calgary. Just a reminder, Monday, Trade Center 2015 has you covered all day, beginning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, 5 a.m. Pacific, on TSN and TSN Go. Every trade, every deal, everywhere you are, brought to you by Tim Hortons. And great news for Dave Nedowin. We won't be trading you in for Heather Nedowin. You're doing a great job so far. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> Update for you now. Although I'm sure Heather would do a great <laughs> job, too. <laughs> oh, the politician you are, aren't you? All right, update Hashtag. Time. We go to PEI and Ontario. Always exciting when you can be and arrive in the big show at your first ever Briar. And that's the case for Mark Keane and his team out of Fenland Falls and his final stone on the way. And there the house comes into view. He's playing a quiet little tap. It looks to be for two, but it's close. We'll have to look it over. And yes, it appears it is two, went to a measurement, I'm told, but a three, one advantage for Team Ontario in their first ever Tim Hortons Briar. As we bring you back to our feature game, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, a blank in three. Steve Laycock has the hammer here with action underway. So even ends, and Steve Laycock's going to be aggressive now and definitely try and score his two. Got to finish, guys. No. Yeah. It's uh, six. Oh, it's perfect weight. No, it's heavy. Yeah. Playing top 12. Eh? Hey. Playing oh, top 12 is heavy. Oh, it's hard. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. crazy yeah. inside. Same weight, dude. Both the same weight. You betcha. Let's go. Yeah, Manitoba just made the comment that that guard's actually not that useful. Being so high in the amount of curl that there is right now, it's, it's really difficult to hide behind that to the point where the other team can't get at it. Lines a little Down Myers. Lead stones for Team Saskatchewan. Hey, let's go all that low. Don't help you. Yep, we can still go. Big left, go ahead. Pretty good. Nice shot. And they'll lock it on the red stone. How do you like that, eh? There's top of the foot a little high. I think you gotta try and jiggle them. That looks like good. Up. Like move it? It's not bad, right? Okay. What kind of weight? The weight here high. It's Probably the same back weight, four. Yeah, you just have to extend. It's like T-line? Okay. T-line wait, buddy. You like that ice for me? Uh, I think that's a lot. I think that's pretty good. Okay. 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 Let's go with it. Whoa! Right next door on sheet B, BC T. taking on Alberta. Whoa. Final stone on the way Jesse. from Jim Cotter. One of the nice guys right in the sport. Now. He's back to the Briar Three once down. again. Of course, Lead. made the final Ball last year. Ten. Just came up short. Good. Final stone against yes. Team Alberta. Yes. He's got one for sure, Dave. Looks like he's trying to bend one in for two here. Yeah, I think he's throwing back 12 weight, trying to come off of that yellow and a roll into the fourth for two. I think you're right, and I think he's right. On the money. Nice shot from Jimmy Cotter as he picks up a deuce. 3-1 BC after three. Not loving this uh, play there. Yeah, Jimmy's playing well. Half a stone, take four. Obviously, teamed up with John Morris last year, but what a season they had. They lose the final of the Olympic curling trials, they lose the final of the Briar, and obviously those hurt, but unbelievable performances from Jim. Well, for sure, and I think talking to Jim, as much as those finals obviously hurt, um, what they took away from it was was very valuable. I know that Jim said he learned a lot playing with Johnny and feels very confident coming into this year. Halfway. What's the play here, Dave? Looks like a guard. 
Clean. Two. Just two. Two thirds. Yeah, I think I'm they're the, right, yeah, right now they're just trying to protect yeah. those rocks yeah. there and Go set on. them up for, for Braden afterwards. See, it's not set up real great for Manitoba by any means right now. It's good. Out of here, yeah. good. Let's go. He's whoa! Oh boy, Trill's a bit here, but I think he's okay. Big trouble. That was a little terrible. Bad. Figured that was gonna happen. So that was that the plan be B. How did plan B work out, Dave? You know what? <laughs> Not terrible, actually. Yeah, like him, isn't it? Obviously, they were trying to. First shot. Yeah. Remove that red guard up oh, yeah, front. Uh, I'll take the straight one. Oh, no. Here. I think so. Sure. Okay. Yeah. This turn is crazy. We kind of want the aggressive one. You think so, Hodge? I think we just go regular. Yeah. Yeah. You talked a lot about a lot Jim Cotter, his relationship with John here, Morris, and what he learned, and I'm sure John, John learned okay. so okay. much from Kevin Martin. What did you learn playing with Randy Furby all those years? Well, I, I mean, when I started playing with Randy, I was pretty young. Um, I actually started out skipping, and then we quickly switched that, so Randy was calling the game. Um, he, you know, he's a master shot. Really. The way we played was a little bit differently, for example, than a Steve Laycock, where they're very calculated in when they'll be aggressive. We were just full-on frontal assault every end. And, and that wouldn't work in today's game. The teams are too good. We just basically said, we're going to make more shots than you. Um, so it's, it's definitely changed. It's a different strategy. And then last year, I had the opportunity to curl with Kevin Martin. So, you know, in my career, I played probably with two of the greatest players to ever play the game. And they were very different. I learned a lot from both of them. And now what a start to your broadcasting career, obviously. What a way to begin. From Randy Furby to Kevin Martin and now Brian Mudrick. It just, I mean, it just keeps getting better and better. I, I held a straight face for about three seconds. I love it. <laughs> I don't, your life is peaked, sure Dave Nettleman. Your point. life is peaked. This. You're a good sport. Play that, maybe. Yeah. Straight top. Does that leave the perfect angle here? Yeah, probably this, the right then. Goal. The tap, you think? He doesn't Don't have to move it far, just the rock. Not even. And this rock will be perfectly between these for the kill if okay. you need it. Tap it a foot, and our rock will be right in the way, yep. <laughs> Making okay. a play on their own well, yeah, yellow one side, uh, Dave. 90 guys? Yeah, I think Let's so. <laughs> Let's make it. They're just trying to keep the angles lined up. If they move the yellow one back, they want to make sure that the one that they're throwing is actually going to be um, protected with yeah, the line. red one in the yep. eight foot. That right line's now. good. Max. Yep. Yeah. Back eight. Yep. Ah. Oh, go. Ah. Heavy. Gotta go. Kirk Myers. Oh, Got to Gotta get go. it by that red stone ah. first. By the guard, oh. they do. A little tap on the yellow. Real good. And that'll settle in the four foot shot stone. Team Saskatchewan. That's pretty good, I think, as good as anything. Yeah, I think having a further help. Yeah, it actually does. doesn't have just an automatic in the end. You can actually touch it. Kind of run. How'd they get that by? I thought that was on. Great sweeping. How'd they get that by? And they did exactly what they wanted. Um, there's really no way for Manitoba to make a play on that yellow stone in the top 12 foot now without it going on to the red one that's biting the eight foot. Then I guess he makes that. He might have this. It's just so yeah, tough, man. Yeah. Idea. People going crazy. Yeah. Yelling. Like we've we've got some options too. Hey, like. Yeah. Okay. So what turn? In turn. Where you want to hit it? Just a um, sliver high. Just off nose, and there is a run back double leaving Manitoba sitting nose. three. Sliver high. Hair high, okay. eh? That's the sliver. Probably make them both, eh? Maybe. I just want not that center line one. Okay. Is the key. Okay. You throw on peel or firm. Scowie runs it back, sticks his red. Well, that's the rock that Manitoba identified as the dangerous stone, so they want to make sure they got that one. It does leave Saskatchewan with a pretty simple double to sit in front of it uh, in the top 12 again. Yeah, not a bunch, though. 
Oh. You don't want well, you don't want to leave it open where he makes the double. double. Okay. Yeah, we, well, we kind of wait. See that red goes away because that's kind of our draw. Normal appeal, whatever yeah. you like. Just how much? About a third. Double? Quarter rock? Third. Okay. I think it's. I, I don't honestly don't think you hit it too skinny because there's no hole. Yep. Let's go, boys. Yep. No, out turn. Out turn, yeah. Here we go, go boys. Third stone. Let's go. Has that ever caught you, Dave, when you were playing, where these guys throw such big weight, you put the broom down, and you have to make sure you do throw the right turn. Oh, yeah. really, you can do it either way. Absolutely. Actually, last year, we were talking about playing with Kevin, and Mark Kennedy threw the wrong turn, turn a few times but it, and, and made the shot. It just didn't matter. Yeah. When you put the broom in the middle of the rock and throw it hard, uh, if the ice is a little bit straight, it really doesn't matter. You take the curl out of it, don't you? Did you get a time on line? Uh, no, I didn't. I was yelling line. 13.5, I think. Yeah. I think more, man. Okay, more. So, probably, it was like, a great double heavy, because they actually seven, rolled eight, behind that center guard five, enough yeah, that, we were thinking, that Manitoba well, can't play the double in the yellow zone and force them to draw. But with the amount of curl that we've seen, Reed can easily get the top button fully buried there. You're just watching us for the first time. We covered Manitoba in our opening draw. This team and this skip in particular, through the first five ends, they were all in the high 90s when it came to their percentages. Switch! Got it, got it, really go. Switch! Go, plow, 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 we gotta plow. Go, Derek, go! 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 Get an eight foot! Get an eight foot! Go! Go, 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 go! They scrub the entire way here from the front end. They drag it. They do get eight foot, so that's in for second shot. Board. Yep. Totally love it. That should be perfect. Let's go, buddy. Five look now on sheet D. It's Northwest Territories taking on New Brunswick. Jamie Cooey with the Redstones. And it looks like he's lying one, maybe even two. And final stone on the way from Jeremy Malley from the Thistle St. Andrews Curling Club in St. John. Room. Room. Line's good. Jeremy here for the very first time. Draw weight. You're good. A little bit of backing, yep. and he doesn't need it. Nice weight from him, yep. so yeah, very nice. No sign of nerves oh, there. Yep. Not yep. at all. He'll put it on Heavy. the board. 2-2 two, two after four. Meantime, our feature matchup, Whoa. Steve Laycock. Whoa. You hear Heavy from the front end, tap Whoa. the red. Shot. Away it goes, and for now, Saskatchewan yeah. lying two with Hammer here in four. Uh, we're going to either a top or a wide draw. But... Uh, Meantime, our there updates we, continue. Oh, Prince Edward there. Island well, taking on Ontario. And PEI, Adam Casey, able to come out of that pre competition to earn his spot here in Calgary at the Tim Hortons yeah. Briar. Yeah. Well, well, well. Final stone on the way, yeah. well, throwing yeah. big yeah. heat. Yeah. Yeah. Gets the elbows, bangs them enough, and moves them enough. What a shot. He'll pick up two. Lovely touch from Adam Casey, putting two on the board. And he ties things up at three after four. Good bump. Yep. Meantime, yep. Whoa, final whoa. stone on the way from Reed Carruthers. Without hammer here in Ball four. In. Just a hit on the nose, Dave? Yeah, he's just trying to make the, the two points difficult oh, for Laycock now. But uh, rolling away and going to leave it open draw for two. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, maybe, maybe split for three. Yeah. yeah. It's there. Split? No. It's really yeah, not that dangerous. As long as you make contact on the yellow stone, you should get two. Like that. Well, hate to just. Almost just play it as a draw, maybe. Yeah, eh? that's what I mean. 
I think we well, play like, that we draw. can't make it if we don't play it as, a, as a split, though, I don't think. Well, I think we draw. We're, if we're, we're, we're top three. four weight and we hit a third, yeah. we might not get either of them, I think them, we right? draw. Don't you think? Top okay. three. Let's make that shot. Let's go, buddy. Would you risk it? Yeah, I like the split. What's that? No. Oh, yeah. The thing about the split, if I'm T-line weight, there's a spot where we don't get either of them. Oh, really? You don't like the split? Well, there's a spot Ooh. where I don't get either of them. You <laughs> snapped it, eh? Well, as long as you Straight can. draw? OK. Whatever. 90? I need to tap the split. Whatever. Let's go. It's good. I'm good. You think 90 is the number? Yeah, for sure it is. Just that much heavier today, eh? Yeah, it's just, it's not getting better. <clears throat> you heard Steve say there's a spot there. Is he just referring to maybe a spot in the ice that could run if he puts the weight up just a little bit and they're worried about missing entirely? Yeah, possibly. I, I think he's just saying that uh, we know what the ice is and we know what the weight is on the edge of the, on the, edge of the uh, eight foot. It's just a draw to the button. T line! Yeah. That was their game plan the entire time. Easy. Wanted to try to pick up Easy. his two in an even end. Line's good. Guys, it's starting to move. Final stone here in four, a chance for two. Draw weight is indeed lovely. Now they've executed their game plan to a T so far in the first four ends. Steve Laycock looking very strong. Corwin Saskatchewan after four. More from Calgary right after this. Welcome back to Calgary. There's a look at Kirk Myers, third for Team Saskatchewan. Second, of course, is Colton Flash. And on Team Manitoba, the third, Braden Muscawi. And we're showing you those young men for one simple reason. They had an amazing curling moment together as a team. Let's take you back. 2011 hey, wait, Canadian wait, wait, Junior wait, Men's ah, Final, ah, actually right here in Calgary. Extra end, Muscawi. The skip of team Saskatchewan hits and sticks, but is he shot stone? It goes to a measurement. Can you believe that? And it is indeed yellow, and they would be your champions, beating Ontario 8-7. And that year it was Muscawi, Kirk Myers, Colton Flash, and Matt Lang. Your 2011 Canadian Junior Champions. What an unbelievable feeling. And now, of course, going head to head at this year's Tim Hortons Briar in Calgary on the big stage. As we bring you back and welcome you to our feature matchup, Manitoba taking on Saskatchewan. Steve Laycock is patience paying off, scoring the two and four. And a four one advantage with action underway here in five. Reed Carruthers with him. Yeah, and Saskatchewan's controlled every end so far. They've, uh, they've executed the game plan perfectly, and there hasn't been an end yet that Manitoba's really had any pressure on. Which really is the exact opposite of what we saw earlier today in Manitoba's feature game when they were lights out in the first five against Team Canada. And one of your keys or game plans was play the full ten ends and really keep that pressure on. We'll see now towards the latter half of the game if Team Manitoba can... Get some momentum going. Yeah, agreed. And earlier today, Manitoba's front end was dominant. Uh, they were setting the ends up really well for Reed, whereas it's a little bit flipped this time. Saskatchewan's front end is really controlling this game. Yeah, if it curls, yeah. Out. Let's go, bud. No. Oh, no. No. Curl. Curl. Get out. Good boy. Yeah. I always love seeing those flashbacks when you what talk you about the junior players, Dave. I had the team. opportunity to cover my first m and Meat Shops yeah. Canadian yeah. Junior yeah. Championship yeah. in Newfoundland and Labrador yeah. and Corner Brook. And just awesome to see how good those young curlers are. Braden Calvert representing Team Manitoba. And of course, Mine's good. Kelsey Rock representing Alberta on Mine's the good. Women's side, and I believe a distant cousin to one of your old teammates. In yeah, Marcel. Yep. absolutely, a cousin to Marcel Rock. Very cool to see the young curlers of the game in Canada, and just great go. curling go, 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 too. They were phenomenal to watch. Yeah, they're so good. You look at a lot of these young teams that are now coming into men's play or women's play, and they're actually keeping their teams together and doing very well. Calvert was awesome, wins back-to-back -back junior titles, goes to the Manitoba playdowns, and actually performed very well up against these teams. Yeah. 
Rush able to hold that rock, get it by the guard and remove the red stone. I think Flash scared this one by the guard. Threw the second like they wanted you to throw the first one, and the first one like they wanted you to throw the second one. They worked out good. Oh. Yeah, both made at least, so that's good. That close. Oh, good throw. Him close enough. Line's good. Line's uh, six. Yep. Yeah. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line on this. Yeah. Hard line. Really yeah. go hard, boys. Hard. Hard. Got to get a bye, boys. Hard, hard. And now it's Muscawi, Hodgson, big brush. Reed comes out, but that'll rub. Head and roll to the center. The guard. You can really feel the energy in the building tonight. Every time Team Alberta's on the ice, they're getting pumped up here at the Saddle Dome. This one is live on TSN feeds one and four. Final stone on the way. Alberta, Kevin Cooey taking on British Columbia. Cooey, of course, out of the Glencoe right here in Calgary. A lot of fan support for this team. You can expect that all week long. This final stone here on the way in four. Pretty straightforward nose hit for two. A nice quiet weight that you talked about. Nice control. Makes the tap. Picks up the deuce. Crowd responds. So they're tied up at three after four. Heavy. Yep. 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 Good. The shot is pretty good, baby. Little split there for Team Saskatchewan. Spreads them out a bit and they lie too. Yeah, you're a little ahead. Or this. It's fine. And here we are again with Manitoba chasing coming yeah. to Thurs Rocks again. Mind that? I like it. See you guys. Let's go the good with, news for them is there's corner guards up. There's there's rocks in play. And there's like opportunity. Still 13, five. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. I don't think four, 14's got a pound. Close. I think it's close. Yep! It's already coming down. Go! Seven! Whoa. Six! Where? Six! Five, seven! Whoa! 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 Whoa. Just five! Seven! Just five! Six! Five! Clean! Clean! Line's good! Line's good! Frozen! Frozen! Yep! It's there! It's there! It's there! Braden Miscawi locks it on the side. Nice touch from the Manitoba third. Great throw. Also shot rock. You're gonna run it? I think so. The hair inside knows. Yep. Let's go, boys. Real good communication, too, and that, that's actually a key is that both sure, sweepers sure, were calling sure. different spots that it was gonna stop. Go, boys. But they both kept communicating what they believed, so that the skip knew is probably somewhere in between those two. A lot of times, one sweeper takes control of that, and then if they're a little bit off, then the skip doesn't really know. For yep. Sure. yep! Whoa! Yep! Whoa! Whoa! Kirk Myers, run it back. Hard, Steve. Gets Hard. them both going. Hard, Steve. Good shot. Good. Good shot. Shot. It's good. It's good. Even if we weren't, it's pretty good. And after but, that, yeah. it's Sasky line too. Same shot. Mom. Yeah. Same weight. Jack, you stay in. This is uh, right here. Okay. Oh. Same. Really there. Okay, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, it's good. Whoa. Five. Six, five. Whoa. Five. Right off. Right off. Wanna go? Yep, go. Drag it. Drag it. Drag it. Hard line. Go, go, go. go Big go, scrub go, to try to get it by that yellow, and they rub again. Just waited a little bit too long. I think it's only one. Kind of a risky hit. I was thinking play that. Probably right. Play this. I, I, take a look. I, I can't seem to decipher it, but if it's if it's two, I, I would play a guard. But not it here. It's really good yeah. though. It's really close. I think Saskatchewan's just line one.
I think it's too close. I think we should play this. When you play, Dave, who eyed these up for you? Who had a good eye? Awesome. Yeah, well, actually, Scott Normal. Pfeiffer probably did. If we needed help, we'd calm down. <laughs> Randy's <laughs> eyes weren't that good, and I didn't trust myself. But. Let's go, buddy. As long as we're high side, you betcha. And the, the challenge with this is that they can't play the internet. I mean, you can see three quarters of the rock, but if you ever hit a little bit thin, it then goes back onto your yellow one in the back of the house, potentially leaves uh, Manitou with a couple in the rings. By look now, Sheet D, Northwest Territories, taking on New Brunswick. Close game so far. Looks like Jamie Cooey has a biter out there in the weeds in the 12-foot. And here comes his final stone. And it's a takeout for two. Meantime, our feature matchup, Steve Laycock throwing his first. Clean, clean, Gets clean, the red clean, going, clean. taps it out. Clean, clean, clean. As for Jamie, makes the hit, yep. sticks around, so he puts two on the board and a 4 2 advantage. They're through five. Don't you? Or do you want to see yeah, him play the run? Is, this is, I think I'd rather see him play the run. Okay, I think right we go right there. Okay. This is still pretty normal here for me because okay. I've played this. Okay. I think if you're if you're close to that outside you're guard, good. we're going to be good. Yeah, we'll never have to switch this. I don't think. No, I don't think so. It's through the hole. It's good. This will curl nice. From the hack, that's got to look pretty this tough. The out nice. turn draw to come to through that port just got to try squeak it by that this top still yellow guard. Like yeah, the guards are actually at the this. wrong angle. It'd be much easier, obviously, playing the intern through that. But uh, for the shooter, you really ignore that high guard, and all you're looking at is the center guard. That's the one you need to get by. I think 14.5 half for keeping to get it there. Pretty okay. good. It's been a common theme so far this game for Reed Carruthers. Yep. Comes to skip go, stones, and he has some tough work to do. Gotta go. Really light. Right. Go. Heads down and go. Go! Heads down and go! You heard go, it right go. from the call. Hodgson, Zemagoski, got to go. All they got. Go, 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 go. Big go. scrub, don't go, stop. Go, by go, that guard, go, drag go. it, and catch some of that button. Barry, lovely Great team season. shot. Good shot, Raider. Head down and go, if did they ever. Such great ice. They come around a guard in the top 12 foot and they're completely buried in the top button. The nice thing for Laycock now is if he can make a nose hit, he actually lays uh, shot rock in the forefoot buried. His final stone here in five. Got to hold the line, run it back, get enough. Every inch, buddy. Every inch. And they'll drag it out. Nice sweeping to get it out of the rings. Yeah, I thought it might be. You're getting closer to the a little closer than they wanted there, Dave. Yeah, the sweepers are earning their keep tonight. I had vision for that one just going full move. Well, I knew I wasn't going, so I might as well That's sleep. the kind of yeah. shot that off the top of the game that we talked about that Steve needs to make. And he did. He, he made it, and he's forced uh, Manitoba to their single point now. So once again, pressure here on Reed Carruthers, Team Manitoba, final stone in five, drawing against two. Needs full eight, maybe a bit more. We're good. We're at least eight. Doesn't look light. So, so. Doesn't look heavy, I mean. <laughs> gotta go, boys. Come on, guys. One of the two. Need some red. Need some red. Need some red. Ever off. You gotta go. Ever off. Samagalski. Hodgson. A busy end. Got a little different path. A lot of sweeping, but a successful stone. As they'll draw the forefoot, pick up the single. Manitoba continues to fight here in Calgary. 2015 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Ford of Canada. 
proud partner with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. Welcome back to Calgary, Alberta. Our opening day of coverage of the Tim Hortons Briar. Great start for Saskatchewan tonight. A 4-2 advantage over Team Manitoba. Kathy Goche is also with us, and she's with Steve Laycock. Steve, you come off a really tough game this afternoon that arguably you could have won. Very short turnaround. What was the conversation? Just to pick up on the ice a little quicker. We didn't really get it the first half of that last game, and... Uh, came on strong at the end a little bit, and we've carried that through here. It's a little different tonight, though, a little heavier, and so I'm glad that we're up a couple rather than trying to make finesse shots right now. Now, you've played a Manitoba team that also came off a loss. You came out pretty aggressive. Was that the plan? Um, yeah, basically, they kind of dictated when putting the guard up early. So uh, once it was game on there, we made a lot of shots, got a nice deuce in the first, and we've had control ever since. You talked about the ice being a little bit heavier tonight. Are the lines running the same, or are you just finding the differences in the weight? Yeah, the curl's the same. I don't know what they did to make a different speed, but uh, front end's got a good handle on it. They're telling me at the right times to throw, and it's been working out, so we're fine with it. Thanks, Steve. You bet. Well, Dave Nidowin, if indeed it is a little bit heavier, kudos to Saskatchewan. It seems like they've picked up on it very nicely when you look at the numbers. Yeah, for sure. They're shooting 91% as a team, and uh, Steve Laycock himself is shooting 90%. Uh, they did pick up on the way very early, and Manitoba has struggled with the difference. After five, brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. After a tough loss earlier today, Manitoba will try and fight back in our feature matchup tonight. More action to come right after this. The 2015 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. By Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. And by M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. Welcome back to our coverage here on TSN, opening day of the Tim Hortons Briar. Update time, Alberta taking on BC and an opportunity and a big one for Jim Cotter. You just saw Kevin Cooey on your screen with his final stone. He had an opportunity to make the hit, was not successful, and that left the door open for Jim to draw and pick up two. Easy that. Yeah, Jim's not going to miss these very often, Where's but what we did see on Cooey's rock Go right before that. that is something we talked about a few Mine's times good. already. As soon as you increase that weight a little bit, it will right run a little right. straighter. Jim Cotter, right. of course, right. playing right. with John right. Morris right. last right. year. He's picked up right. Ryan Kuhn, right. Tyrell Griffith, Rick Swaski. They're back. And lovely draw weight. Welcome back, Cotter. A nice deuce as he's up 5-3 after 5. And just a reminder... What a great event and what a great time to be a curling fan on TSN. You can watch that one live on feeds one and four. And all week long here at the Tim Hortons Briar, we've got you covered. All five feeds showing live action right here on TSN. Wait's good. Off. Back 12. In our feature yep. matchup, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. Yeah. Shooter. And it was a single get in it, five for Reese Rudders. Right, Come on. Come on, get it in. But what a great game. Game plan following it to a T so far for Steve Laycock and Team Saskatchewan. And during the break, you were talking, you were impressed, Dave, really with not only the way Steve has played and the numbers, but that he makes the big shot when he really needs to, regardless of what those percentages are. Those are the type of momentum shots that your skip needs to make. So, uh, I mean, they've shot 90% or 91% as a team, but you really need that shot. And he made it in the fifth end. One. That's good. Get it to the line. And they've the got, they've got complete it. team buy-in into this plan. And even here right. in the sixth Set. end to start, with Manitoba throwing the center, the center guard, and Steve doesn't even think about going yeah. around it. He plays the tick Let's shot go, in the sixth Get end. Yeah, Make control's it. fine. You got her, bud. Board! Just board! Yep! Board! What did you think about Steve's comments in talking with Kathy Goche at the break and saying, feels the ice is a little bit heavier on the second draw. 
Yeah, it is, and, and I wonder if that has to do with the picks that we saw in the first game, whether or not perhaps Jamie and his ice crew have changed the ice conditions slightly to, uh, to try and eliminate some of those picks, which might have caused it to, you know, at times straighten up, or in this case, maybe be a little bit heavier. Six. Jamie Barassa, the head ice maker this week. And a real kudos to him and his team. It takes hours upon hours of work to make sure that these athletes and these crewers have the best surface available. Oh, I can't say enough about the ice and the work that these guys do. It's unbelievable. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Good wait. Is that in? What? I think he just knows it. Yeah. The board. Board away. Board up. Yep, you betcha. You know, Steve Laycock and his oh, team have been here control. before. And when you talk oh, about Manitoba, good control. the only real oh, prior rookie is Colin control. Hodgson. And, of course, all the other players have played other years, different provinces. But their first time okay. as a team here for Manitoba. Do you remember when you were playing in maybe your first TV game and the differences of having the microphones and the cameras in your we're face? Drop. And maybe we're you look up like and all of a sudden one. there's big Nave Nedwin on the Jumbotron <laughs> and you catch yourself having what a look. What is that like? You know, it is actually kind of distracting at first when you have the big jumbotron with the video playing on it because it's about a second behind what you're actually Normal. doing. Normal. So you feel yourself move, and about a second later Normal. you actually see yourself move on the jumbotron, and you have to learn to block yeah. that out. It does take a little bit of time, yeah. but like you mentioned yeah. uh, Colin Hodgson yeah. being the first uh, or the rookie here in his first Hard. time, uh, but he's not playing like a rookie. He's playing fantastic. Good. Good. Good throw. Closer to the center, I guess, right? Here you go, buddy. Hit and roll away. Board away. Let's go, kid. Control. Four seconds. Board. 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 Heavy board. Oh, heavy board. Lee. Yep. 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 Easy. Heavy board. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. Look, curling with that way. Whoa. a boy. Shooting, bud. Shooting, buddy. Job. And the challenge for Manitoba is that, again, we're talking about that high guard not being overly useful. Um, if that guard was tighter, Reed may draw Easy around up. it. But Please. being that it's so high, for him to draw Come around on. that in Saskatchewan and not be able to get it is probably unlikely. Clean. Clean. Pull it a bit. Pull it a bit. Go, go, go. Get it. Yep. Let's go. A little straighter over here. Yeah, not a whole bunch though. A little bit of finish still. Okay. Hey, you'll get finished. So if we believe and read into Steve Laycock's game plan oh, and the way oh. things are going here, it could be setting up Board. for a blank. Would you expect Clean. him then to try blank Clean. the next stand and then go for his deuce yep. and eight? Yep. Yeah, he would. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he loves to score on the even ends. Clean. He wants to have control playing eight and ten. So if this end uh, ends up being a blank, he would definitely try and blank uh, end number seven and score an eight. He knows right now that the pressure's not on him to make something happen, that Manitoba's going to have to take uh, you know, take control Please. and uh, start to make some, some aggressive plays, which will give Steve yeah. a chance to score potentially. Whoa. Whoa. I found his comments, too, in that fifth end break interesting Whoa. where he said, I'm glad we're not the team that has to throw Those finesse shots here. right now. Good. Does that speak to the ice and the conditions tonight? Yeah, a little bit, but I, I also find it interesting board, because yeah. they're shooting 92%. Yeah. Good, solid <laughs> so, and they have been playing draw shots. Yeah. I, I think his comment more about my front end is giving me the times and I'm believing it and it's working. I think that's more relevant. A little less! Yep. Less! Yep! Yep! Good! Right in the nose for Kirk Myers. Good job, boys. Oh, Kirk. Way to go. Good one. Just a hair less, but that's yeah. no, I agree. close. Yeah, I agree. Good bump. Just try to make this wall. Good bump. Hit.
on the nose here, Dave, or would Easy. Reed like to try and roll? Yes. No, he's going to try and roll behind. And it's high enough now that if he makes the roll, it's still yep. going to be in front yep. of the T-line. So uh, Steve won't be freezing to it. Aji. Aji. Needed to break, on, little finish. On, and he'll get a bit of roll. And now oh, Steve can try the roll, no risk either. Yeah, throw. Good throw, man. Yeah. Yeah. We, we could be full four, too, I don't know. Room more. I don't know where it is. Room more. Looks like it's only I top agree. four, so. Yeah, you want to roll under? Yeah. Yeah. We're going under or away? Under. Okay. Even if he makes a freeze, we'll have a draw for two. Okay, perfect. Kind of wait. Board? Board. Board. Yeah. Board cooperate under. I think I might just curl a hair more here based on my one and the two ends. I would, I would agree, yeah. Great numbers so far for Steve Laycock. 90% through five a little ends. Little control. Control! Whoa! Whoa! Close! A six Whoa. and five Whoa. round robin record last control. year at the Briar. Whoa. Hoping to improve on that this time around. Anything, Kirk? Yep. Hard Duke. Ah. Good throw. Good Not quite the, the flip he wanted. The hair. Probably here. Yeah, it was yeah. going to be tough for me. Got yeah. a chance. Apparently, this roll is really hard. Yes. No one can make this thing. So if it's a perfect roll, right, is the roll force on, amount. or is that guard high Same enough way. that maybe okay. Steve be tempted to still try and get the blank, or can he even do that with that kind of weight? No, if it's a perfect roll, then Steve will be drawing for one for sure. Um, with complete control of the game, uh, under no circumstance would he want to give up a steal here. Others. He'll get the roll, but too much roll. That'll peek out the other side, and that opens the door for Steve Laycock. Yep, you're right. Half a stone. Let's go, bud. Should go pretty straight down here. Yeah. In our game earlier, John Morris, a lot of high praise for Reed and his abilities as a skip, and really what a provincials he had in coming out of Manitoba, his fifth appearance at the Briar. He beat Mike McEwen twice, including the final, to get here. Also knocked off Jeff Stoughton in those playoffs. Yeah, Reed's had a, had a really good year uh, on tour and then right into the provincial playdowns. And uh, to say you're going to beat Jeff Stoughton Please. once and Mike McEwen twice to get here, yep. that, that's a, quite a feat. Please. 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 Final stone on the way from Steve Laycock. Make the red go away, lose the shooter. He does both in a perfect blank. Saskatchewan. Cruising here in Calgary. Welcome back to Calgary. There is Prime Minister Stephen Harper there on the right doing the wave. And what a legend in Glenn Howard, an amazing player. And speaking of legends, one step back from the game earlier this week. Jeff had a, an incredible career. I grew up watching him. He's been around for a long time. Jeff Stoughton was the face of Manitoba. Well, I wouldn't be sitting in this seat here today if it weren't for Jeff. A few years ago, I kept wondering, when are these uh, veteran guys going to retire and give us a chance kind of thing? So it's good for us. Um, tough for the sport of curling just because Jeff's been a class act. I'd wish to have a career half of what he had. It's, it was pretty special. I remember seeing him on TV for, for God knows how long, um, ever since I was a, a, a kid. Uh, just starting the sport, they've been at the top and they're, they're still at the top. You never get an easy game against Jeff and definitely one of the best rock throwers I've seen. Definitely not retiring because he can't uh, play good anymore. Awesome ambassador for the sport and it'll be pretty sad to see him go. And I wonder who's going to have to do all the, uh, the spin around now. I think Mike McEwen is starting to pick it up a little bit from Manitoba there, but we'll sure miss you, Jeff. We wish Jeff well in the future and, and we definitely want to say thank you for everything that you've done for the sport of curling. Incredible guy, so much fun to watch Jeff Stoughton. Even better person, resume speaks for itself. 11 Briar appearances, three-time Briar champion, two-time world champion, a great competitor and a great guy to deal with. And I echo the sentiments of the guys 
Always fun to cover, always a joke, always a smile. It was awesome watching Jeff Stout and Dave. I'm sure you had a lot of great memories and competition against Jeff as well. Absolutely, actually, I couldn't agree uh, more. I, I grew up in Manitoba playing against Jeff, but more than that, idolizing him as a kid. Uh, you know, thinking of his prior appearances back in 91, uh, when I was still just in juniors. And, uh, he was the guy that kind of inspired you to work hard. He was at the Charles O'Curlin Club, the same club I was at. And uh, we'd be out there every day as juniors throwing rocks, and Jeff and his team would be right there throwing, uh, throwing and practicing, working hard too. So, um, you know, I had I had an opportunity to play with him last year for the very first time in the TSN Skins game, and uh, that was that was a huge honor for me. So I'm glad I had a chance to do that. And of course, Reed Carruthers knows Jeff Stoughton all too well. They won that Briar title together in 2011, won a world championship as well. Colton Flash, second stones for Team Saskatchewan. I got Lots of line. Hang in there. Lots of line. It's good. Lots of line. You take it right up to Golden. Lots of line. Kind of the theme of the game. Laycock's team setting up early in the end. Too much weight. I haven't started curling yet. Yep, go. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. It's late. Flash. I think it's just getting a little better. Same. I think you gotta throw the same way today. Same way. There we go. Got a lot less. Lot less. Hard, 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 hard. Hard. You let him know where we're going. Seven, eight, eight. Whoa. Eight. Eight. Clean. Yep. Just eight. Yep. Where is eight, Dave? Yeah! That's just behind the T line. Hard, boys. Seven is T line. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go, boys. Every inch. Scowie. Hodgson. Big scrub. Little bump on that yellow. And for now, Saskatchewan still lying two. It is Steve Laycock with Hammer here in seven at 4 2 advantage. They really have carried the play since opening rock, in my opinion. They don't have a great angle here. Get this peel that. Peel the high one or get the double? We need it. We need to and get. Steve's up. managed the scoreboard very well, and even in this situation right here, it's tempting to come in with the intern draw again and freeze on that red one. But he knows right now if there's going to be any trouble, so it's going to be because of that draw. center guard. Seconds, yep. Yep. Clean. 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 Double peel would have been big trouble. I figured so. I just wanted to shot. ask in case. Flash with the peel. Meantime, live look. There. British Columbia, Alberta. This one is live right now on TSN 1 and 4. Final stone for Kevin Cooey. Yes, indeed. Dave, he's going to throw it away. And they'll have a look in the house as the house comes into view. You can see the situation. Jim Cotter, BC. Couple in the forefoot. And they kick him away. It was indeed one yellow, so one for Team Alberta. BC, though, leading 5-4 as Jim Cotter and his team for British Columbia. Certainly, they've come to play, looking impressive so far tonight. I think so. Absolutely. Uh, Cooey had an unfortunate pick on his first rock that set up that, uh, well, basically the last rock throwaway that he had. Are you playing straight freeze? Yeah. Okay, I like it. High 13? Okay, high 13? For yeah, weight? like I like that same throw I was giving you. Yeah. Um, they sent a couple ends ago, right? Yeah. Uh, I got light. Close! Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Yep! What do you think? Right. Seven! Whoa! Go ahead! Eight! Whoa. Eight! Play the eight. weight! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mine's good! Play the weight! Seven, eight! Yep! yep. Go ahead! Yep! Yep! Get to it! Yep, hard line. Go, right go, 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 whoa, go. Whoa, whoa. Set. Good. Great good. job, B. Really good. 
Great shot. Yeah. Can I just slag everything out of the forefoot? Hitting this, you mean? The yeah. important part about this shot for Manitoba is that they didn't separate those two yellows. They didn't bounce oh, off each other. Now, if they run it back, both the yellows will We're disappear. Else, probably going there, too. Yeah, but what are we playing here? So even though Saskatchewan's sitting two on okay. the button, right now Manitoba is really in a great position. Top 12. A little bit quicker than it has been, eh? Yep. I heard them say top 12. Would you ever come in and just put that yellow stone right in the crotch of your own yellow? So if the run back is made and the two yellows go, yeah, your you're still shot stone? Yeah, five. Yeah, I ten, agree. Maybe. Let's go. Well, yeah, you could. Um, chances are you're going to leave them uh, just a big weight hit on your own and, and get rid of probably a couple of them anyways. Right now, what they're trying to do is protect from that run like back the on the red one that's going to get rid of both like of Yeah, you, I'd really like you to go. Here's okay. I'd like to go. Just roll over his brushes. I'd like to go, good. Still. Wait's good. We're around it. Around it. Around it. I'd like to go. I think you're around right. Around it. Yep. Gotta go, guys. Gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Off the way. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Well, still lying too, Barry. Right now. <laughs> no. I mean, They're laughing because they know we keep for long. No, I. Yeah. Hey, same throw. We call it time. Let's get let's get Stevie out here. You think so? Well, unless it's pretty clear. So Manitoba using their some time. first time out. Well, Each team gets 38 so minutes I, of yeah. thinking so time and two timeouts here, of 90 I mean, seconds apiece. Yeah. What does he play? Well, what Manitoba's thinking right now is they actually have two guards they could run back. Oh, so they don't have to rush the run back. They could put another one in there and save the run back for the next shot. And honestly, even if we're Out comes their yeah, alternate just, player, just Steve Gould. The idea is, though, if you're show half of it, I have Yeah, that. exactly. Pretty good. Like, we're thinking if we go here now, he's, he's in big trouble because we got, we got different options. Yeah, I know he's listening, so... Yeah. Steve is right there. <laughs> what do you see anything else, Steve? It's too early. Might yeah, be too, too early, early to play this. And this is okay too. Yeah. We just gotta be careful. We don't really want to do something like this. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, frozen five. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Let's let's aim. Let's air over yeah. here. Yeah. So same weight, right? Same weight. Yeah. Really? I think you need. I think it might uh, slide a little better out here. Though. I think you need like here. No more, hey? You wait. Don't think so? I don't think you need more weight. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's right. We haven't really seen anything. I think more, Reed. Reed? Can we take more? You need more? Yeah, Good hook. It's actually pretty Even nice to have then, the experience of somebody like Steve Gould right. coming out on the ice to, uh, to talk you through it. I can't see it. Who also no. played with Jeff Stout for a world right championship. Weight? Do you like the same weight or do you want more? I can't give you any less. Eh? No. You can't give less. No. no. Probably three feet would be great. Then I can give you the same. I think we can get away with it. Should be close. I'd like to give you a couple feet. Okay, let's do it. After their discussion in that time, oh, we'll keep you up to date. Sheet D, Northwest Territories taking on New Brunswick, a 4-2 advantage for Jamie Cooey. It appears that Jamie is lying two. Possibly three. There's a couple of yellow stones in the weeds and a 12 foot. Regardless, final stone here on the way from New Brunswick and a Briar Rookie and Jeremy Mallet. Go! That's fine. Go! 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 Good, 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 good. In our feature matchup, they'll drag it top eight. It is Saskatchewan still lying two. Yeah. So yeah. Just keep it clean. Nose is pretty good. Meantime, Jeremy, he's got, got the first. touch. Looks pretty good. Draw no, weight. He's got okay. a little bit of backing. Let's go. You can miss it two -thirds and he's just fine. So he'll pick up his single. New Brunswick continues to fight down four three after seven. Straight up the sheet. This is our out, guys. We're low. This will get us out of here, eh? Let's go. Yeah. Just off nose, high side, my side. Get it uh, three quarters on the inside. Low side. So Braden high was. Side, right? yeah. Just Let's a go. foot or two short from exactly what he yeah. wanted and actually gave Laycock an out here. Just off nose and he'll get rid of the one that Braden just threw. 
move things around and probably leave himself still, still three in the house. Myers. Jeez. Good, real good. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Changes the angles. Hard is leaving now, right? Oh. Saskatchewan better off. That worked out fantastic. Now the red one is behind the two yellow oh, wait, ones, protecting awesome. the one on the, on the button. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. <laughs> Just to hear. I don't know what else to do now. What if we played? What if we played the yellow and tried to bang it and just click oh, this? What if, what if we nosed it and just tried to get this one for now? It's close, eh? Just pick this one off. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're sitting up there. Yeah, if I end up clicking this, though, it's no good. Oh, it's terrible, no. If you dead nose it, though, I think you get this. Yeah, right? I think so, too. Could throw this in with control, though, too. Yeah, I think it gives more options. I think so, too. Okay. Uh, maybe normal, hey? Yeah. So just a hair high? Yeah, three quarters, four four fifths probably. Okay. Normal? Yeah, I think so. So four fifths probably there. Okay. Just normal. Yeah. So a good shot by Reed here, and there's one lonely yellow rock in the button. Well, that he could be a good shot. Right? Yeah, it's not easy, but kind of weight. This uh, normal? Okay. Just a hair high. Okay. Posture, bro. Hopefully we have angles on the next. Okay. So best case scenario, the yellow stone on the button should go. That one yellow will jam, but he'll hopefully yep. make his next one a little easier. Yep. Hard. Yeah, exactly. Hard. They're just trying to get rid of the top Hard. yellow one and leave themselves potentially a chance Hard. to uh, really put Laycock in a tough oh. position. But he misses everything entirely. Bye, Reed. Curious if that was just one? maybe down weight or it just took off on the Yeah, I, I think Here, I would have thrown a little more weight at that. Okay. Let's go but it's what they called. It's the weight they called. I like that. What do you think? I think that's minimum. It's probably good though. I was thinking that maximum, so let's go, bud. A little quicker. Not much. A couple feet. I'm or thinking, the red. I'm thinking it's a 10 or a 15. Does that look like minimum ice to you guys or good? No, I have pretty good to guard the red. Got to guard the outside of any. Okay. I'll take a hair more if you want. I don't think you'll ever under curl. Yeah. So guarding the double red run Tens back here, Dave, or coming behind their red one out front to take away the run back that way? I, th I think they're just throwing a guard on the red ones. The one, little early. One. So a one okay. is way up high. Exactly. Good. Correct. Yeah. How's line? Really good. Just the one. Line perfect. Just the one. Two. Two. Okay, two. that's okay. We're over two. Maybe. So one or two one is going to be one just half. over hog. Please. One and a half. Please. Just the one. Just the one. Going up. Just go. Just go over. Yep. Oh. Perfect. Good job, boys. Shot, Steve. Let's see it, guys. Oh, the other kind of shot. Better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. So right on the nose, Peel? Yeah. If anything, Reed, I think it's a hair low. A hair low, yeah. Into it. What turn do you want? In. Right in the middle? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Well, the double run back takeout on the back yellow. Nose across it a millimeter. Okay. What kind of weight? Peel. Intern. Okay. Talk, Final stone on the way here from Reed Carruthers. Team Manitoba in some trouble without Hammer. Needs the run back, needs to shake things up on the forefoot. Bang the yellow, get it going back. 
And it's still Saskatchewan lying two, and now they'll look it over and see if the three is in play. Yeah, it's too tough. I think this is the easiest. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no risk because we're going under for sure. Yeah, okay. You know, Dave, you hate to pick on teams, and it's still early, and I know the guys are figuring out the ice, and every time it seems Reed has come back to throw his stones, there's trouble or it's not set up well. Is that partly maybe, maybe the game that he's calling, or is it just maybe not execution from the front end? I, I think it's just a little bit of execution. Um, you know, the difference right now has been that Laycock's front end has positioned their rocks exactly where Steve's asking them. And it's not that, you know, it's not that the front end for Manitoba is not playing well, but the guards are three feet too high, or the draws are just over curling a little bit, not position them exactly where they need to be, and those are big differences. And at this level, when all the teams are that good, it's those little mistakes that make you maybe seven and four instead of six and five at the end of the week. Oh. Exactly. I mean, if you're Reed oh. Crothers, you want to be throwing guards oh. and draws for two, not double oh. run back, double takeouts. Oh. So final stone, Steve Laycock was trying the hit off to come in for his three. Maybe just. And two yellow it is. Saskatchewan on cruise control here on the Tim Hortons ride. Two end dollar. Kirk Myers was the Ford Hot Shots winner last year, and he comes up with a key shot for his team here, Dave. Yeah, he does. Absolutely. The, the shot didn't turn out exactly the way they planned it, but the way the red one spun in behind the yellows on the button really caused Manitoba some problems. All about the angles yeah. in this game. Oh, whoa. A lot of yeah. times we point to the skips yeah. for being the key shots, but look how things change here. That red comes over. And it worked out perfectly. They'd end up scoring two, and that indeed was our key shot. It's brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. And full kudos to Saskatchewan and Steve Laycock. Going back to his game earlier today, it's the fourth straight time that he's had the hammer and has managed to score his deuce. You talk about controlling the scoreboard. He's done that brilliantly. A 6-2 advantage over Team Manitoba. And now a four-point deficit for Reed Carruthers to try and climb out of here as Manitoba does have the hammer. And they're just so patient about it. They, they make sure that there's not any end that Steve's had to bail them out with really difficult shots, hit and rolls, you know, run back doubles. They're just patient about it. Everybody, we need you now, eh? Tough one, Duke. I just got it. Oh, that's like immediately you looked up like you felt bad about it. Oh, you have to bail me out, Flash. This is good. I will. Jeez. Jeez. I wasn't even close. No, you weren't close at all. Literally 30 feet in rock. No, 25. Oh, that's uh, some honesty in. from the Saskatchewan front end of the Shut microphones. Now yeah, I think I get more than you thought. Yeah, there's no uh, pointing fingers there. Good job, man. <laughs> Yeah, Matt. You only corner, you take it. I don't think you do. That one lone yeah. yellow one. Yeah. Way up so. there. Belonging to the lead. Alan Myers. Throw that one. Isn't that one useless? He's playing the uh, double, I think. Oh, double? Double! There's no double. Well, they can't get around that. They can't get around it. Yeah, but if he didn't roll, it's two rocks. This okay. is not worrying. Okay. That's not even a guard. Okay? Yeah. Go, bud. Half the stone. Whoa, clean. Whoa, clean. You heard clean. Dallin said, "Come on, Flash, bail yeah, me out." Kind of a dangerous four-foot swath and roll behind. Yeah, no, and they'll get the red to go. You can't throw a corner there either, though, right? Turn, you guys really. Hi right, again. And yeah. Four, Fourteen still. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Pete. Well, oh, Manitoba's got some rocks to play with here. I got there now. Please! Maybe not three. Yep! Mine's good! Where? Just three. three. Just three. Yep! Hard! Live look on Cheat B now, British Columbia and Alberta. Jim Cotter, a 5-4 advantage. But Kevin Cooey, Team Alberta, putting a little pressure on. You can watch this one live on TSN Feeds 1 
and four. Final stone now to come from Jim Cotter, looking to stick the double for a single. Yeah, Kui had a chance to guard this, and I'm not sure exactly what happened, but his guard stopped nowhere near where it was supposed to. He's got to curl up big time for the double. He'll get the one, but the shooter spills out, so that is a steal for Team Alberta. And you hear the crowd's approval. They're all locked up at five after seven. Just a reminder, you can watch that one live on PSN one and four. So you want me to pull more? I don't know. Where are you going? Top four. Oh, you gotta throw 10, 12 feet more. Back four is a great shot. That's, That's really heavy. It's okay at all. Back four, back three. Uh, seven. Six. Mine's good. Yep. Seven. Mine's good. Six. Row. Seven. Seven, eight. Here it goes. Seven. Braden, Braden, yep, yep. Seven, eight. Okay, whoa. Let's whoa, go whoa, across whoa. the range. Shot. Good, Farsi. Good. Just sifting in there. I literally. Oh, yeah. so, like we can't. You, the deuce is okay. Yep. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Yep. This one's gonna curl. Hard. This is gonna curl. Hard. Sweet. Another nice peel from Kirk Myers. Yeah, what a game he's having. 98% so far. Room they they made a oh, sorry? Sorry? room for improvement, so obviously, though, right? Two two percent. Percent. He, just, he just increased <laughs> it with that shot. <laughs> and they made a really good comment there uh, on Kirk's peel. Um, Mine's good. They said two is okay, so let's peel the guard. There's no point getting fancy and coming around. Peel the two. guard. Manitoba gets two. They're still two. up two with the hammer. Just two. Okay, Just Colin. Two. Whoa. Clean. 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 Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Good. As soon as you got on that, I'm like, why are we? Well, Davis, we checked the player comparisons, and we're going to focus on the thirds. And it's not like Muscawi's had a bad game at 82%, but when the guy you're competing against is firing at 98%, you're in tough. Yeah, absolutely, and that's a key matchup for sure. And you can see why uh, Steve Laycock hasn't had to throw a lot of really difficult shots when your when your third is shooting 98%. 100% on his hits as well. Player comparisons. They're brought to you by Ford, proud partners for yeah. 21 years. They just go back here anyways, and we just. What if, well, I, what if, if I we're in a better spot that. now, though? Oh, we're tough. I don't like it. It's too tough. Yeah, but you can come off yours. It's the same thing. Until I weasel that, because I thought I did. So what do you take away from that, there, Dave? Well, like, what Kirk's saying is that he wanted to peel the guard, wait, guys, and wait, going guys. after the back when there's always the risk when he said weasel that, meaning if he just Where? rubs that, that high guard, papers it, five, redirects six. your stone, Whoa, and misses six. everything in the back, you haven't changed yeah. anything, and Manitoba's coming around again. Lines, don't switch, lines don't good. switch. Oh, lines no, good, can over curl. Whoa, 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 deep. Whoa, deep. whoa, 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 good shot. Try, B. Nice judge, guys. So what do you, what do you think for, uh, for weight there? I think it, it totally depends. And he's right. You have to assume Manitoba's going to make a good draw, and you're going to go up and peel the guard anyways. Peel it off, Steve. Stone goes. Good job. Good. You do that sometimes too. Shot. Shot, Stevie. Out of its hands, you think that he was way inside, but I guess better to be sure. Get the uh, vocal cords warmed up. It's a long week. Yeah, no, there was a little, one. Panic. a little panic there for Kirk. I think he still wound up over his shot. See, we know better here up here, Dave. Your first briar, you got to conserve the voice and the vocal cords. It's a long week, so it's a marathon, not a sprint, pal. 
freeze, but we gotta cross it a bit, right? Yeah, a little bit on my side? Yeah, we gotta cross it. Otherwise, I gotta tell you though, one of my favorite double. parts when it comes to the Briar, so when like? I knew Jean-Michel Menard was back in the Briar, and you 13, know when his third crit is here, 13, 13, 13, man, does he got a set of pipes on him. 13, 13, 5, they are fun to watch. I think 13's heavy, I think 13, 5, 5. We're here on the ice with those guys. Oh, yeah. You can hear, but you can hear him when you're. Oh, you look yes. over. It's a, it's a, it's a, you can call that a weapon. Yeah. And it, and it's not even always on a shot that really needs the, you know, the full out vocal cords. We look forward to covering Martha and Creighton. Go back this week. They're great guys. A lot of fun. No, 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 no. Good. Even if we roll out, like we got to yep. miss on the side of rolling yep. out. Totally agree. If we roll out, that's no picnic. Absolutely. Can Normal. wait? Normal. Sorry. Normal. Yeah. Well, take a look. Does nose no. get it? What's that? Does nose get it? I don't think so. I really don't. Do you? He's just wondering if he can make the double okay. with a nose no, hit. No, it doesn't. I don't, uh, do I don't think it's there. Nose it. Here, oh, turn. Meantime, Northwest Territory is taking on New Brunswick. A 4-3 advantage for Jamie throws, Cooey out of the Yellowknife oh, Curling oh, Center. Oh, playing oh, with no, Mark Whitehead, no, Brad Tchaikovsky, no, right Robert off, Borden. Final stone on the way. Right we know it looks like a hit for two. I was looking at the outside biters there, Dave, but I think it's just a hit for the deuce. Yeah, it's a hit for two, but I don't think he has anything. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and now did he even move it enough? I don't think so. So instead of two, that's a steal of one. So New Brunswick getting back into that game. They're tied up at four. Wow. Oh! Yep! 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 Opportunity now for Reed Carruthers, Team Manitoba, to pick up their two. Try, Stevie. That was pretty close, actually. Oh, good. Hair high. A little bit more weight than what it's been out. Three, three quarters. Good bump. Good bump. I remember watching you for good years, bump. Dave, okay. and you always Sasha, had such a skill at those finesse shots and those yeah. touch shots. It's just amazing. Harder. You look at the guys Harder now with the harder. weight they can throw with the leg drive. It's unbelievable. No. Yeah, the the big huge weight wasn't Inch my my forte, um, but you, you know you look at these skips now. Kevin Cooley, for example, uh, they they can throw them so hard just and so bump, accurate. Just bump, a little soft. Final yep. stone on the way from Reed Carruthers. Yep, yep. A little soft. He needs a yep. little circa yep. 2000 Nedowin touch here, playing the quiet tap back to yep. pick up a pair. Good, 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 good. Lovely way to avoid the jam. You bet. I came down too. <laughs> did, yeah. So Manitoba, not going away without a fight. Two on the board. They're down two after eight. All right, boys. There it is. It is that time for the m and Shops Final End Challenge. After the game, go to finalend.ca. Enter the secret word for a chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip for two to the 2016 Briar in Ottawa. You get your tickets, hotel, airfare, all paid for. First 100 entries have a chance to get a $50 M&M gift card. All participants get an M&M discount, so please stay tuned. We'll give you the secret word shortly. Welcome back. Day one of the Tim Hortons Briar here at the Saddle Dome in Calgary. Great fans here in Alberta. Amazing venue. A lot of electricity in the air. And Manitoba battling. Reed Carruthers picking up two and eight. Saskatchewan, though, does have the hammer up by two. Uh, Steve Laycock has the final stone and a nice little tick shot played by Team Saskatchewan and Dallin Myers. Yeah, he makes those look easy. Well, Dallin's had a good day too. He was in the finals of the uh, Ford Hot Shots against Colin Hodgson. And brother Kirk was the winner last year. Line's good now, line's good now. 
Ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Last wait! Really? A yeah, lot less! A lot less! We gotta go! Yep! Hard. Yep. Yeah. Hard, buddy, come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah, come guys, on. really gotta go! Come really on. gotta lean on it, guys! Really gotta go! Really We're gotta go! Come on, wait. go, go, go! Oh, my goodness. Hey, Duke. Well, I think we might have uh, jinxed him a little bit on that one. Okay. You could Sorry, take full credit. I didn't say anything, Gabe. You could. We put five bucks in the jar. Have fun there? Can I go on the out turn? Yeah, go out turn for sure. And if I, I guess if I'll keep this. Yeah, I think so. Still really heavy, obviously. Here. Obviously, 25. there's no real okay. easy way to make that shot, Dave, but do you prefer to cross the face on those tick shots or play it the way that they were trying to play? There, but well, it really is preference. Um, typically, the way we would play it is the turn that you could hold better with sweeping. T! We're top eight. We're light. Line's real good. T line, go, go. guys. Line's go. good. Go. You gotta go, you guys, for T. T line. Pretty close. Go, go, yep. go, go, T, go, go, T. Go, go, Let's go, go to sheet C. PEI taking go, 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 on Team go, go, go. Ontario. All locked up at six. Yeah. And it's Adam Get Casey it. with the Redstones. Adam is yeah, definitely ready, lying one. Good. You have a better look, look Dave, from your angle. Yeah, it's definitely one. So final stone on the way. Team Ontario and rookie Mark Keane. Mine's great. Yeah, Adam Casey made two fabulous shots. He made a run back double and then froze one on there one. to uh, to sit oh. one red. Oh, 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 oh. Zero. So a single it is. And a steal for PEI. 7 6 is the score in that one. And of course, we saw in the crowd a little earlier Glenn Howard. So 15 prior appearances in his career, which is absolutely oh, phenomenal. And obviously, he is a spectator for the first time in a long time, and he's cheering on his son, which is very it's exciting. Scott Howard is throwing lead stones for Team Ontario. So a thrill for Dad to be here as a line's good. fan, and that's the support system. Hold it out there, hold it out there, hold it out there. No, the line's good. Probably going to overcurl. Okay. Might have to finish. We're two, we're two, we're two. Braden. Hard, 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 hard. Yep. Go, 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 finish it. Go, 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 go. Good, good, well, definitely good. a little opening here for Manitoba. Shot. Like, I don't think you can throw it through there. Yeah, let's go. It's heavy. It's like you can try, but it's... But cold and Flash will do what cold and Flash does, and that's get rid of a lot of rocks. Whoa! Yep! yep. Big time oh. wait. Oh. What has he got? Oh. Get him moving. Bang the red. Hard, Steve. Steve, out. Out, out, out. And with that kind of spin, it's going to go shot. nice to remove the two red rocks and open things up out front. Shooting, buddy. Great shot, Flash, man. Thanks. Real good. That kind of rotation, the action on that stone. Being able to throw it that hard and that accurate is such a weapon a second. Just two. Wait, wait, wait. It's way out. Go, Derek, go, go, Derek, go, Derek, go, go, make it curl, go. Really gotta go, Derek. Go, Derek, go, Derek. He's going across it, cross it. Drag it, drag it, go, go. Go, 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 Derek, go, 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 just peel it. Okay, peel. Just straight peel. Peel, you're right. Peel. Just Even straight if we peel. peel. If we give him one, boys, who cares? Exactly. Yeah. Let's go. Clean. Oh! Whoa. 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 Clean. Hey, clean. And away it goes. Well, Dave, right from opening rock, you really sense that Saskatchewan has had control of the game for putting the pressure on. And you look at those twos, two in the first, two in four, and then two in seven. And that's why Steve Laycock's in a good position. Yeah, and they've never had to pressure it. Uh, Steve's been very conservative and very diligent about when he's going to be aggressive. 
Uh, when he has an opportunity for his deuce, he goes after it, but he also doesn't risk giving up a steal. So they've had a game plan coming into it, and all four team members have bought into it perfectly. Now, the game story brought to you by Traveler is it's better under the umbrella. Feel her off? Oh. Yeah. Give me the same turn. Let's go, boys. Yep. Kirk Myers will try to go two for two on the peels this in. Lean. Good job, Kirk. Thanks. Good bricks. Good this same ice as me? Yeah. Thanks. We're just thinking it for some reason we have to give one. Better than Plays out. Set up pinhole. Seems to be running a little nicer all of a sudden, eh? Speed wise. No idea. Yeah, I trust no. you. It is. Oh, gee. Uh, close to three. Oh, gee. Oh. Two. Close to three. Oh. A little deep. Call it, you gotta go. Call it. Call it, you gotta go. Close to three. He will. Go. go. Three, three, Lines really good. tight. Three, lines three, good. Four. Whoa! Really tight. Yeah, I don't want him. Lines perfect. No, 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 it's almost four. No, then. It is four. It's got to sit. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't want that in the rings. Hey, Sorry, boys. Your slid really good in comparison, yeah. I think. I don't know. Oh, man. Okay, bud. You heard the comment by Kirk Myers uh, to Steve Laycock right before that, saying that he thinks it's sliding a little bit better. So maybe it uh, maybe it is getting a little bit quicker and caught read on that. Yeah, as long as we high slide it, the jam doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as you keep it sure, he's got to go hit it and he hit it for one. Well, I don't know. Wow, it might. I have something to that. Just make sure we don't go in like nose jam. Yeah, yeah exactly. Steve oh, Laycock, oh. his oh. first here in nine. Oh. Oh. Not a lick to it. Bang the red. Oh. He'll miss the back one. And one more chance here for Reed Carruthers to throw up that guard. Good throw, Steve. Here too safe of ice, right? Yeah. Picks it on the way by. He'll probably just throw like back four at it. I mean, it's pretty easy to just go and Well, if it. I do the exact same thing, see where the rings are? So, yeah, we just sweep it a foot further and sweep it to here. Just and show them half? I'd love to. I'd love to see him throw something soft. Okay. How easy it would be to throw like a, try and throw back line and throw like back eight and just tap it in here? Well, I don't think so. Pretty much game. I know, but, but with how heavy it is, say you went here. You under throw, he underthrows that a little bit, easily can crash and tap this. I know you what Braden's thinking. They're trying to lure Steve into playing a touch shot, rather. but even if they the put it, uh, you that. know, top 12, top there. eight, Steve's throwing the run back. He's I not going to play a risky uh, open touch hand shot. Hand sure. What are you throwing, Dave? Well, I think it comes down to whether or not you want Steve to throw a double, or do you want him to draw the button? If you want him to draw, then you throw the guard. If you want him to hit, you put it in the house. For sure. So, I throw like so I don't one mind. Two. So you kind of think of going like right here? Okay, same spot. Okay. Doesn't matter much. I mean, just six six one, half so same, same, same weight spot. kind of thing. Sure. Great. So what, where do you want? I don't same, know. Exact same Full spot. Sure. Okay. Full eight. Exact same spot. Okay. Sounds good. Make him throw against two. Sure. So same weight, I guess, right? We'll flip yeah, it. So where do you want shot. this? Just touch, like touching the line. Okay. Almost more. Final stone oh, here at nine for Reed Carruthers. Four. I thought it's less, Hodge. No, I don't four. think it's less. Call it Playing way, pretty much the five. Four, same five. shot as his first. Alan Trying go. to make Steve Whoa, Laycock. Dear. Whoa, Play against two in the okay, rings. Okay, okay. Five. Five. Four. Four. Five. Four. 
Got to just bite. Four it's should be close. Tough. Yep, go, go. It's okay. <sighs> just kind of went straight sideways yeah. at the end, Dave. Yeah, they were hoping to show him half a rock and maybe lure him into the shot, but I mean, Steve can see the entire rock now, so it's it's a nose yet for a single. But, but even with the nose hit, um, he's throwing full takeout at it. Normally you just throw control or board. Board. But he's worried about it taking off and, and potentially ticking that one in the yeah, top 12. So wide open. He'll throw full hit. If he happens to roll out, it's a steal of one. Control weight. Final Good. stone for Steve yep. Laycock here at nine. Yep. Yeah. Just the quiet out turn hit for a single. <laughs> ah, go. Clean, clean. Nice shot. Good job, boys. And beautiful heavy, control but, uh, weight uh, for the skip from the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. Yep. He'll pick up his single, and he has a three point lead as we come home in Calgary. Make two through and make her feels. It is time for FinalEnd.ca. It's time to give you the secret word. And it is Ripper. So after the game, go to FinalEnd.ca, enter that word. You can win a trip to the 2016 Briar in Ottawa. First 100 entries also have a chance to win a $50 Eminem gift card. All participants win a discount as well. Welcome back. Day one coverage here at the Tim Hortons Briar in Calgary, Alberta. Shot Our up. feature matchup, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. Wait, and it was Steve Laycock taking that single at 9 a 7 4 advantage. Reed Carruthers does have Hammer coming home, but he is down by three. Board! Yep, board! Yep! Yep! Yeah! Yep! They're playing the tip, yeah! but with a long yeah! wave, hoping just no! to feather it. Right. Oh, come on. Close, but it will go into the board, so Reed can replace it. I think I saw the dog. That's it. Shoot! It's more, it's more, sure. more for sure. I thought he pulled back. Nope. Okay. So I thought he pulled still not heavy enough. Easy, easy. Take a look at him. Pretty close. Clean, clean. Whoa. It's there, looks there. Shot good on. shot. It's good, boys. It's good. Yeah, good read. Shot on. Shot on. That's cool. Once we got line out. Update now on sheet D. Northwest Territories taking on New Brunswick in a tight game. All locked up at four. You see the two yellows there around the yep, button that yep. Jamie yep. Cooey right has to deal with. Cooey's seventh Close. appearance yeah. at the Briar, Hard. seventh consecutive and ninth Hard. overall. Hard, Needs nice touch Hard. here to move that yellow stone enough. Hard. 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 Yeah, really difficult shot. Got to come to that yeah. yellow, move yeah. it enough for a single, avoid Hard. that jam. Yeah. Now they did have a look. There was a measurement, but indeed it was good enough for a single. So nice touch shot from Hard, isn't it? Yeah, Jamie well, Cooey. Measure. He's got a 5-4 lead after nine. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to go, though. Jamie always dangerous uh, at this event. I remember back in 2012. Uh, no, 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 we're past, we're past. He led his team to the first ever playoff appearance from, at that time, the Yukon Northwest Territories and lost in that bronze medal game. Yeah, Always. shots like that show you just how talented Jamie actually is. Considering, too, he was saying they've only played about 20 games this year. They yep. try to play each other Please. in practice and Please. get, her get as prepared Please. as they can for the big event. As Saskatchewan just continues to keep things clean. Up by three. think it's more. Last even. Certainly a little more. Probably a little more. Uh, looks pretty good. Just clean right now. 
No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Go. Great. Round nice, Lost. Yeah, round nice. Straight at it. Straight up. Nothing crazy. Let's go, boys. Half a stone. Yeah. Half a stone. Oh. Lead. Hold on. Kirk Myers has looked very impressive this game for Team Saskatchewan. Yeah, yeah. he has. And these shots seem simple, but it's it's so easy to have one small mistake, Noah's a guard, and all of a sudden Manitoba set up uh, in theory for a three under. Two. Okay. Uh, one. We're pretty good right now. Just keep cleaning. Never off it. Keep going across. It's really curling now. Just go sideways across. Don't pop. Weight's good enough. Good. Sorry, B. What do you mean go side? What were we saying? Huh? Go what? I was saying go across it, don't foul. So Dave, you read Carruthers. You come out, you play a fantastic yeah. first Colin. six ends Colin. against Team Canada earlier today. You lose. You come out here against Saskatchewan. Maybe not the start you wanted. Now in danger of falling 0-2. You know more than anybody. It's a long Go week and there's a lot hard, of games hard, still hard, to come. Hard, 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 hard. Your team hard, Manitoba, hard, you read for others. Right what do you right say up. after a game like this? Yeah, I was just thinking of that. And and if I'm Reed Carruthers and Team Good Manitoba, enough. I think I'd probably go back and, and sit down and recognize that unless they, you know, come back with three here and steal in the extra end, if they finish with an 0-2 record today, they've played better than that. They're going to sit down and say, we actually had a pretty good day. This has been a well-played game. It's not like Manitoba, you know, hasn't been in this. It's just Saskatchewan has been so methodical in terms of uh, scoring their deuces and forcing their singles. So I think Manitoba needs to sit back and say, we played well. We had a decent day. If we can improve on some of the little small things we did wrong, we should start to get some wins in day number two. Sit there. Yep. Go, go. Finish it. Finish it. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Good. Sorry. But you're right, it's a long week, Brian. So, you know, uh, nobody's going to go through this unscathed, I don't think. And uh, although you don't want to start with two losses, it's certainly not the end of the uh, end of the event for you. They do have the next two draws off. I guess that could be a good or a bad thing. You have time to recoup a little bit, but I'm sure after a few losses, you really just want to get back out there and try to get your first W. Yeah, you do, actually. You're right. Sitting around for two draws isn't a lot of fun after uh, losing two games. Clean, just clean. Steve Laycock, make this red stone oh, go guys. away. Let's get it cleaned up, right, Duke? A little wide. And they're that much closer to picking up their first win at this year's Tim Hortons Briar. Reed Carruthers now, his first here in 10. It's light of anything. You're going to have to pull out. Go. Yeah. Got to go. Oh, buddy. Get her in, boys. Got to go, got to go. Got to get it in the rings. The boys got to get some paint. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Got to go hard. And they, wow, oh, just get a piece of the paint. Barely. Beauty. I thought I had that lots of handle. Beauty. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That was nuts, man. I know. I thought I had lots of handle, too. Steve Laycock, yeah. make the redstone go yeah. away. Bang, away it goes, and handshake time. 
Steve Laycock, Team Saskatchewan, their first win of this year's Tim Hortons Briar. Seven four, your final score. Saskatchewan one and one. Manitoba falls to zero two. More to come from Calgary after this. The 2015 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. The 2015 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. By Purex Bathroom Tissue, Purex, 90 years of pure comfort. And by Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Welcome back inside the Saddle Dome. Day one of the Tim Hortons Briar in Calgary. And we join Team Ontario taking on PEI, all locked up at seven. It is indeed PEI, Adam Casey with the hammer and final stone here in this crucial 10th end. Yeah, I like the intern too, man. Well, the end sure looks set up for uh, PEI. Robbie Doherty here? made two perfect Are tips. Here? Uh, unfortunately, okay. Anson Carmody came up uh, with a flash on his peel attempt. Top eight. Wait's good. Line's good. There's second David Mathers. And a great story, Team Ontario here for the first time. Skipped by Marquine, of course. And their team age, well, it averages under 25. Youngest team in the field. Oh, just put it tight. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Yep, good shot. Okay. And the only member of that team with prior experience is actually Scott Howard, we talked about him earlier, and that was as an alternate with his dad, Glenn, in 2011, 2012, and 2013. Anson Carmody with the peel. This keen team beats John Epping in the Ontario final. And we just talked about is that less Muscawi in that game we just featured in Muscawi playing for Manitoba and we okay. showed that flashback of the Canadian Junior file in 2011. Well, members of this Ontario team, including Matt Cam, you're looking at. He was the skip that Halfway year. Tight. He had Smart. Mathers on his team, he had Howard on his team and they lost in that Felt final. Felt real good. We Halfway. talked about that junior influence, Dave, oh, and so many great young junior curlers come up to the big ranks and you know, you gotta finish. compete yeah, on yeah, the yeah, go men's yeah. scene. Yeah, I imagine the average age of the Briar over the last Hard. 10 years has probably dropped Whoa. 5 to 10 years. Shot, Matt. I was going to say, since you and Randy obviously retired, it kind of helped, uh, you know, to bump that. <laughs> How do I get into the same <laughs> age group as Randy? <laughs> I don't know. I just <laughs> never let facts get in the way of a good story, Dave. That's what I always say. I called him a few now. weeks ago and said, nine hey, more whoa, years and we whoa. can play seniors. <laughs> You guys would be a good seniors team. Don't kid yourself. They'd make a curling movie about us, grumpy old men. Is that? Nope. Same thing, boys. Okay, more. A little tighter. Oh, no, no, no. Really close to the same. Real close. Finds the same. Finds the same. Finds good. You're gonna have to finish a bit. Get ready. Get ready. Go. Yeah. Now. 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 Hard. Yep. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go, Scott. Go. All the way. Hard. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Go. 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 Good. Nice pair, Matt. Matt Cam puts up another guard. Throw, Josh. Center is okay. Josh Berry, third stones for Team PEI. Yep. 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 That's good. Oh, Out of the Silver yep, Fox clean. Curling and Yacht Club in Good Summerside job, in Charlottetown. If you're just joining our coverage for the first time as well, it was PEI, Adam Casey. They had to come out of the pre-competition. So they've already played a few games and then, of course, leading into 
their official first game tonight in the big tournament. They knocked off UConn earlier today just to qualify for the Tim Hortons Briar. Now, obviously, you don't want to be in the relegation, but with Adam Casey coming through those extra three games, it's certainly given him a bit of a step up into this first game, playing against an Ontario team that hasn't stepped on the ice. Tight. Line's good. Got Dave. It's clean. Four feet deeper than I looked to Tracy Horgan at the Real Scotties tight. in Northern okay. Ontario. Clean it. They managed to come Line's through, good. and she was very, very Get close ready. to oh, yep. making the playoffs. Yep. Right here. But it's certainly a long day for Casey. Uh, they played their their final, the relegation, in the afternoon draw, and they had to come. You know, and that's a that's a very emotionally and physically draining game. And then to step right back on into your first game in the actual Briar. Top four. Yeah. I think. I think. Yeah. I think the speed's still good on this side yeah. of the middle. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's get this top four, and then the like. Make it real good. Worst case, I had the exact same shot. A lot of teams would still go for the peel right now and then just know that you need to draw the four okay. foot in your last shot. But I like this. Casey's going to go good. for the draw right now, try and finish the game on his first rock. And worst case scenario, he'll have the same shot again. Pretty good numbers for Adam 89% through nine ends. Little tight. Line's great. Yep. Good. Little tight. Yep. <laughs> Hard line. Good. Hard, Hard line. line. Hard. Heavy. Over there, over there. Hey, yep, 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 yep. Hard. 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 Big scrub Hard. to get it by that yellow guard. Hard. They do Hard. get it by the stone in the eight foot. Oh. And a little rub. That's good. good. It is wide open. Worst case, you get the same spot. Exact same split time. Or uh, hog yeah. to hog. I think this draw might be pretty tough. I think he's going to go hit. in the wide stuff. He's going to hit because he's going to hit. Can we get to the hole? I think he can. Other option, Mark, you do this. Stick it. That's not bad. Right on the nose? He's just going to try to nose it back. Oh, he can't. You're going to roll. Yeah, he's going to draw wide. I don't think he can hit, boys. No. Okay, no. I like that. Yeah. Pretty tight. Half? Yeah. Half? Is it there? Do you guys like half? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Meantime, it's handshakes between New Brunswick and the Northwest Territories. Jamie Cooey and his team pick up the win. I apologize. The other way around, New Brunswick picking up the win. So congratulations to Jeremy Malley and his team as they get on the board. A nice way to come out in your first Briar appearance. Absolutely. Good for the rookie. Good for him. Two in the tenth end to, to get your first W. Like that ice? Yeah. It's going to curl, right? So they had a long discussion here. David, what's the play? I think they're trying to get to nose as much as they can. Got lots. And hopefully force Close, Adam yep. Casey the, uh, the wide lots of weight. Whoa. 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 No, wait. No. Lots of weight. No. Right off. Right off. Whoa. 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 And for now, it is Ontario line yeah. two, but it's wide open here for Adam Casey. It's a little difficult to tell, but Casey may actually have to roll to the inside a little bit to get shot rock. Should be good. Ice. Just clean throw, Casey. We can hold it here really good.
Yeah. So this Whoa. is Whoa. it. Final Whoa. stone for Adam Casey. Whoa. Whoa. And a chance yeah. Yeah. to give PEI their first win at the Briar. And now they're on it. Big scrub. Got to keep the shooter. Got to get enough. Will it sit out in time? Cam on the brush, and it goes too far. Unbelievable. Ontario. In their rookie debut, squeak out the victory. Win, boys. And Adam still can't believe it. Holy. Yeah, I think in his mind he knew he had a roll to the inside, but they just missed the sweeping call. So after such a well-fought game for Adam Casey in a long day, he will lose 8-7 the final to Ontario. Marquine and company pick up win number one. And just a reminder, for the first time on TSN, all week long at the Briar, you have a choice. And right now, live on feeds one and four, you can watch BC, Team Alberta. They got a great game going on right now. You can join them live. Just a reminder, tomorrow morning, we're back at it, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. What a matchup this is. Brad Jacobs, Olympic gold medalist, taking on Team Alberta. Kevin Cooey, two-time Briar champion. Can't wait for that one. Draw three tomorrow. Yeah! It's great to be back in southern Alberta for the Tim Hortons Briar. We're in Calgary at the Saddle Dome. It's going to be a very sociable week, I'm sure, on behalf of Dave Nedowin and our entire crew at TSN. Thanks for watching the Briar Sports Center is now.